in the chat that say, you're married, you're loyal to a fault. Shut the fuck up. That does not exist in my fucking vocabulary, loyal to a fault. Because you're loyal regardless. The whole definition of loyal is being loyal and sticking by somebody, whether it's convenient or not, to fucking be there. I don't believe in this term, loyal to a fault. Okay? And if the fault is death, then guess what? I die with a fucking spine. A lot of you motherfuckers are jellyfish. No fucking spine. And that's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, fucking dorks with no money, and no one fucking respects you. Because you motherfuckers don't stand for nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is. Okay? It is what it is, you motherfuckers. Oh, shit. It's getting shaky. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. I got 20 fucking real estate properties so I can tell motherfuckers, fuck you. My net worth is over six fucking million. I get money residually. I don't fucking need to do this shit. And I don't need to fucking sell my soul. I stand with my fucking friends. Period. All right? Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spine, you jellyfish SpongeBob in a fucking pineapple house. Pieces of shit. It pisses me off how soft all you motherfuckers are, bro. It's ridiculous. You motherfuckers have been stepped in the gym in three weeks trying to tell me how to fucking be lost to my fucking friends. I'm not going anywhere. All right? I'm tired of you motherfuckers. Leave fresh. Leave fresh. He's only dude. He's only done. Well, fuck you. All right? I don't need to make a fucking cent off this fucking podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me because I knew that if I want to say what the fuck I want to say and not sell my soul, I need to go ahead and bring residual income coming in every fucking month so I can sit here and tell you fucking haters, fuck you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say and I'm going to fuck what anybody got to say. I cannot be bought. I have my soul. I have my spine. I have my integrity. I got my ten toes and my two feet and I fucking stand where the fuck I'm going to stand and if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face because I can look in the fucking mirror and be happy with the man that I see. You pussy motherfuckers. You fucking losers that sit there and say, Oh, it's getting rocky, man. You should leave. Why do you stay by Sneeko? Do you stay by the paint? Do you still think they're even drunkers? First is the idiot. Why are you still there? Chris tricks too much. Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. That's why no one respects you, motherfucker. Because you don't stand for anything. If there's anything you guys can learn from this fucking podcast, learn this. We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People will fucking laugh at every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us. You know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me why. Oh. Tell me why I'm sitting up here thinking I am doing what needs to be done and I'm giving what need to be gave. And then after I ended my stream yesterday, drop a one, by the way, if you can hear um, and the mic is good. Thank you, Coco the Attorney, for dropping the beat on that. <laughs> Thank you, Coco. So I am there thinking, I ate that. I ate that. I killed that. That that it's giving. It's definitely giving. Tell me why Sin went live. And when I said I've watched this no less than four times already in the past, I don't know how many hours. And <laughs> wait. It's behind a paywall, right? Um, it, it's on Patreon. Sinners on Patreon. Um, drop her link. Um, but, like, if you weren't there, if you were not there last night when Sin went live, y'all missed. Y'all y'all missed a show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, I felt bad for Ren and Stimpy. Like, Lace front and coconut. I am. I, I, <laughs> let me play a little part. I'm just gonna randomly pick a part. Like I, I I'm just gonna randomly pick a part here. <clears throat> yeah. Let's hear just a random part. Child support is brought up. You sitting on the internet teaching men how to avoid the very type of women that you just got caught up with talking about she tricky, she trapped. You didn't know she was gonna get pregnant. 
there, you're not fit to sit up and give nobody advice as a man if you don't know how women get pregnant. This bandit was literally nutting in this woman on a regular basis, but then set up in the text messages talking about, I didn't think you were going to get pregnant. This is not a male who's fit to be giving anybody advice. He needs some advice uh, himself. He needs to be coached on how to not impregnate a woman because it's quite clear that he does not know how babies are made. Why are you laying your dumb ass up having sex with somebody and you don't even know that you can impregnate them? This is one of the core problems with these bandits and why globally everybody thinks they're stupid. How can you teach other men to avoid these type women when you clearly don't even know how to avoid them? If you're sitting up here talking about, oh, she trapped me. Meanwhile, if you go over your videos, you're trying to teach men how to not get trapped. Because the reality is they don't know nothing. They don't got it like that. This is a simping ass bandit who is happy to be in the presence of a non-black woman who clearly saw a sucker and decided to lick him. Nothing more, nothing less. You're not going to convince me that after four months, this woman was in love with him. But I'm, well, let's talk about the big simping on his end, though. She got pregnant after four, four months of meeting him. Why are you, Mr. Big Simp, take flying her out to your home country to meet your family within four months? Does this sound like a man who's used to getting women? Or does this sound like a bandit who has never got attention, let alone from an attractive woman in his life, and the first time he links up with one, he starts simping to the degree that she and his family, he's spending 15K on a bracelet for her, he's flying her out to the home country, he's talking about he loves her, he's asking to move, he's moving in with her, all within four months. This is a loser-ass, nothing-ass bitch who never got a drop of attention in his life, especially- Yo, I can't- <laughs> I cannot, I was, I was, I was gagged. Like, I literally- so after my live stream, I wanted to go to the Discord to watch Salem with my Discord, but things were happening and I couldn't watch. And I was like, oh wait, Sina's live. And I didn't even realize she was live. And I was like this the entire <laughs> the entirety of her stream. I'm not gonna play anymore. Like I'm not playing anymore because like I don't think that's right. Um but oh I don't think that's right, so I'm not playing anymore for her. But I promise you, it just it was a drag from beginning to end, where there was like no breaks, no moment of silence. There was nothing. It was just like, <laughs> yeah, I promise you. At some point, I felt that I was like, oh, he's probably like new to this. Like he got swept up in this lifestyle in Miami. I'm talking about the coconut because like you can tell that he's not used to attention. You can tell that he's not used to, he probably don't even have the kind of access, right? So as sin was dragging, I started feeling bad. I was like, is this legitimately why people think like there is, there are a bunch of stereotypes about blackness and black manhood. And like, I just, the drag was just dragging. Sorry, that was a drag. So I am stepping out. I'm going to be... <laughs> oh, HC, welcome to the membership. Thank you so much. Um, Monica um, has been... Oh, 25 months. Thank you so much. Hi, theme. It's my one is so fake and fraudulent. Look, but while you say that, let me let me let me put y'all onto something. Apparently, they're about to go live in less than an hour. And I don't care where I am. Cause they said they said dismantling Abba and Preach with bombshell truth. Their attorney was up there saying, we won't be talking. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Uh, y'all aren't talking. The reason y'all aren't talking is because I told y'all not to say anything. And now, the very next day, they're up there talking about some dismantling Abba and Preach with bombshell truth. So, was the, was the attorney just there for show? <laughs> Was the was the attorney just there for show, girl? Cause like now y'all looking real fraudulent. Like y'all agreed, y'all looking real fraudulent. Thank you, by the way. That that is bizarre to me that y'all would come back the next day after putting. Cause the reason they got the attorney there was they wanted to create a wall of silence. Um, 
that their fans would appreciate. So the reason they're not articulating anything about that which occurred is because they were advised by counsel not to speak about it. And the attorney, therefore, becomes their shield. So for you to come back now the very next day, a couple days later, while there is a quote-unquote ongoing case, and now going to be dismantling bombshell is absolutely wild to me. And if I like, if I were their attorney, um, we, I'm not doing this. Like, if I told you to be quiet, like, be quiet, or pay me more. <laughs> Cantoron says, you would think that Fresh and Baby Daddy and Fake... <laughs> you would think that Fresh Baby Daddy and Fake would get tired after the constant dragging they... Look, even in the chat right now. Oh, Sin is here. By the way, Sin, you can try to message from your old account. Um, it looked like someone might have blocked you. Um, that was not, I, I went into my system yesterday cause I was like, what is happening? So I'm going to go figure out what happened with the mods, but I think you should be good now. Big simping. Um, I think it's quite clear that he ain't that dude. I never had access to attractive. It's quite clear to me too. It's quite clear. It's an eclipse right now. So look, <laughs> the witches have come home. And these men are paying up. Actually, let's see what's happening in these comments section real quick. I need to see what these people are waiting on. It said, yeah, Abba was getting milked. At <laughs> Imagine de defending Abba and Preach. Myron offered a boxing match. All right, they're talking. Please show it up, Myron. Hid. Girl, they're going back fresh simped on a Chinese escort. <laughs> Girl, the fans, the, their fans are going in in. Their fans are going. Um, I don't think maybe it wasn't a um a moderator who blocked. Um I there have been people who've been <laughs> uh, period. <laughs> Not me. Um, Ashley, welcome to the membership. Um, no, there have been, I've modded a lot of people um, from a while ago, and they're not my core mod, so they'll come in and leave. Um, and I think I need to just um, only have the moderators that I know, and so I'm going to remove some of the mod. Um, and it could have been like YouTube that did that, not like the moderators, because the... The current group of moderators that I have wouldn't do that. They would not. So, yeah. Anyway, while we wait for the next hour for this to continue, we do have um, something that I wanted to talk about. Did y'all know that JT and Young Miami were fighting? I didn't know that was a thing happening. In truth, I don't care. Um... One thing I will say, I hate when people were friends and then they have this public feud and start releasing, like, personal information. Like, I don't like that. So, JT, we don't want to hear... I mean, I do, actually. Please tell me everything that was happening with Young Miami and Diddy. Like, I do want to hear. But know that that's wild. Like, that, that's wild to me. Like, I don't like that. Anyway, that's all I have to say on that. Ain't nobody got time for JT and Young Miami. We have we have fresh and fit to fry. <laughs> we have coconut and lace one to discuss right now. Ain't nobody to have time for celebrity. Mistress Monica, before we start the video, let's say, I didn't notice until yesterday, coconut is rather unfortunate. <laughs> he should be happy someone wanted to procreate with him. He gone pay. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. All right, so we're back at it again with Fresh and Fit. We stopped at, I think, the 12-minute mark with the attorney. And we're just going to be watching this because as soon as, as soon... 
as soon as they start, we're going to jump to their live stream because I want to know what they're dismantling. I want to see the receipts. All I want to see is that fresh and fit provide evidence that coconut was either having a vasectomy or using a condom or didn't know this woman. Because unless you're about to say all of that, this whole trapping thing goes through the window and you need to pay up. Do I believe this woman is pregnant? I don't know what I believe. It don't matter to me, but let's get into it. Yep. So we are back to the attorney pretending like he knows what's happening. I'm a dr- no, I'm not dragging anyone. I've retired the word dragging from my vocabulary because of sin and what she did last night. <laughs> yeah, if y'all had, uh, I mean, I remember for 30 minutes straight, I just was frozen looking at my phone and there was nothing to look at, but like just like looking at the phone, hearing her drag. Like, <laughs> Like, I actually want to play. Let me. No, I'm going to play. I'm sorry. I have to play one, one more second. Let me. Let me do this. Especially now from this type of woman. And the minute that he saw this type of woman, he decided he wanted to trap her. He decided to trap her. Because if he was used to being in the presence of women who look like her, of her caliber, there's no way he would be rushing all these things within four months. This man was doing and saying whatever he could to get this woman to have some kind of interest and investment in him. That's what he was doing. Because we've all seen videos where he had a woman of no color in it who obviously was not interested at all. And that's because she don't want to lay up with a pug. Her attitude is, while there's a lot of women in my community who are interested in having sex with canines, I'm not one of them. So you can get your pug ass out of here with your crusty lips. She turned her face when he tried to kiss her. He does not have it like that. They're trying to sell to you that they have it a certain type of way that they don't have it. Y'all ain't those dudes. You ain't those type dudes where you can just run across an attractive woman and you don't have to pay her. Every single time you come into contact with any woman, when you are carrying the face of a pug, it is going to be transactional and monetary. And so for you to sit up here and act like you didn't know what was going on, that is giving, get your dumb ass off the internet, get blues clues before you sit up and try to give somebody advice when you ain't even, you don't even know what you do. You falling for the okie doke of an Instagram thought that y'all set up there and said y'all don't even deal with, talk to, or take seriously. Why was she out in your home country with her titties all over the internet meeting your mama? You were sitting up in, in text messages just love bombing this woman. But then want to turn around and say she's a jump off. So you mean you think your dumb ass up on the internet giving advice to men and a jump off got to drop on you? You were so dumb that you couldn't even see a jump off coming and her game. So now you sitting up, sitting up on the internet trying to sound, save face, talking about she trapped you. Then stop giving in advice on how to not be trapped. You obviously haven't even figured it out yet. You don't know how to figure it out. They don't know how to recognize a woman who want to run a finesse on him. They don't know how to, obviously. Because if he knew how to recognize a woman who was pulling a finesse, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have associated with this woman at all. It is literally pointing out the, the, the hypocrisy. And how idiotic it is for him to have the platform he has preaching what he preached to to then be caught up in this mess. I am, I am gagged. And like, what do you do after this? I feel like just playing her. I'm not going to do it, obviously. Playing her video and just like calling it a night. <clears throat> Hang it up, flat screen. Ain't nobody got time. However, she did not go over the attorney, thankfully. So I have something to add. <laughs> I have something to add to the discourse. It sucks that she's not on here, girl. <laughs> Can y'all imagine if that was done on YouTube? Can you can you imagine if that was done on YouTube? The last time she dragged someone like that was, I think, Kevin Samuels, and everyone in the manuscript was crying. Like, <laughs> so, um. Whew. All right. Girl, ain't nobody got time for all of this. Sorry, I, I'm sweating and like I'm actually kind of hot from like <laughs> my blood pressure was up. I'm looking forward to Killer Mike offering fresh free trade school to pay off the child support deal. <laughs> yeah, period. Oh, this is important. I feel like. A lot of the times that people, well, actually, remove all of the feelings because welfare to black men out of the home is not a legitimate argument at all, right? However, 
even if we're thinking about systemic issues that could prevent black men from like providing, I think a lot of the times when we think about fatherhood, it is more similar to what Fresh is doing to this woman, even if she's not pregnant, but the idea about what is happening is more similar to what happens. Fresh and Fit, by the way, and their great-grandfather of the Manosphere, uh, Rolo Tomasi, had a live stream when Roe v. Wade was overturned, and they were talking about leveling the playing field, and they were really engaged in discourse around um, what this means for men and how it makes men more powerful now and all of that foolishness. And I think that's interesting. In truth, it seems fresh and fit shied away from completely saying, yes, we hate abortion. And I think they shied away from it because I feel like they probably had women engage in this way, right? To call her a three or whatever, um, someone told me what that meant, and I will not be saying that again. Um, and to call women all these names, but also be with them, I feel like this is ridiculous. Like, we can all admit that it's ridiculous. So let's get back to this video and hear what the attorney, their attorney had to say, because apparently they're just going to ignore all their attorney advice because they're coming out. Let me tell you, in 30 minutes, they're going to go live. So in 30 minutes, they're going to ignore everything their attorney. <laughs> they're going to ignore everything their attorney said. How do you follow up? Wait, I don't understand. How do you follow up? I don't, oh, yeah. No, no. I, you don't. You don't. You don't. You just kind of let, let that drag simmer and you take drag out of your vocabulary. It's like when Whitney Houston sung Dolly Parton's music. Dolly's like, girl, I'm done with that. <clears throat> Sin, please make that assured. The jump off got the drop on him. Period. <laughs> Um, FYI, Peter has issued a statement. No, y'all are not going to call people. No, no. I, I do not agree with the statement. I still live in the corporate world. <laughs> I still live in the corporate world, so absolutely not. I disagree with everything that was said. Unless I said it, I don't agree with it. <laughs> let me just, let me, unless I said it, I don't agree with this, with any statement that has been said thus far. <laughs> All right, let's go. The, the reality for you is there are civil and criminal remedies for the kinds of things that are happening here. Yeah. And, and they're not to be leveled at you. So if we want to listen to that recording, you want to play that recording for anybody who's been under a rock and didn't get to hear it, fine. The only context I would give before playing it is listen to it. Is that a normal conversation? Is this a conversation of a woman who, who, who is having a sincere conversation with a human being? Or is this someone who knows that they're recording this? And when you know you're the one who's recording the conversation and that you can change it, modify it, splice it, edit it, you don't hear what was on the call before, you don't hear what was on the call after. And to be candid, guys, you know, I don't know if anybody realizes we're living in 2024. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a courtroom where there is audio that we've had to have digital forensic experts come in, spend $30,000 to show that it was modified audio. You know, you can go right now, there's any number of products available right now from OpenAI, ChatGPT, all the various companies that are doing this type of work, where you can take small snippets of someone's audio and you can have this person saying five or 10 sentences, and then you can literally dub anything that's to be said. And I have to tell you, you may not know it, guys, there's a lot of recordings of you talking out there. I could put together almost, if you said almost any word in the English language, I could find an example of you saying it. So again, I, I think it's very, very important if you're gonna listen to this or any recording of some poor innocent young woman who's calling some fellow and just happens to be recording it and just happens to be making sure that when she's having that conversation, she seems like something of a victim in the situation wow. and keeps steering the situation in directions that would make for good, you know, good uh, uh, internet publication. <laughs> um, you know, when you listen to it, listen to it with that ear. See if it sounds a little bit different. <laughs> Is it possible to use AI to make someone say something that they didn't say because you have audio of them just generally? Yes, that's possible. Is that what is happening here? Coconut, were you not on that phone? Who was on that phone? If, he, if she lied on you using AI, this is a perfect example of a got you moment on your end. Tell us, Walter. Tell us, Coconut. Let me know. Y'all call him Pug. I will not do that. Let me know if that were true. Is that AI?
Are we listening to AI when that lady released those videos? Are the, the audio, are those texts edited? Are those texts edited? I mean, you could say that. You could, you could definitely say they were because your attorney is telling us to listen to it with the ear that it could be AI, that she's playing the victim, blah, blah, blah. We don't care. Did you sleep with this woman without protection and possibly impregnate this woman is the question. Like, I don't know why people are going and coming around Connor. Like, we know how biology works. We are all grown. We know how biology works. And we're not going to just sit here and pretend like anything that attorney just said meant anything at all. Like, there's nothing that he just said that had any consequence at all. I also specifically dislike when people who are supposed to be professional are mimicking the emotional outrage of the people they're supposed to represent. Um, it does not make you more believable to the public. You might be able to connect with your clients more like that when they feel like you are just as outraged as them, but you don't seem professional from a public relations perspective, looking at you just like yelling and going back and forth on there, just sit. Um, and control the room, like control the moment. Like, what are you doing being outraged? You're the attorney. You're the person people look to for confidence that you know what is happening. You just sit up there looking greasy and unkept, just getting mad. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. In a suit, too. They're working hard to do damage control for this stuff, right? Wait, wait till they start, because I definitely want to hear them addressing the pregnancy allegation. I want to hear them. Um, <laughs> I keep going back to that to look if they start. <laughs> this man is all about to blame AI for everything. He's, he's about to say Daisy baby daddy is AI, period. Remember to like the stream. Please show the Mr. Love, love and like the stream, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. She would need to train the AI for some weeks, months, and would need for <laughs> enough by sample. This is dumb. Please remember this comment. Let me see if I can save this. This is an important notion because right after they say this, somewhere in the conversation, the attorney is going to say, oh, Right after she spoke to him, she then uploaded it online. So there wasn't even enough time to manipulate it. But I don't even have to argue about manipulation of the the, the audio. They're not even alleging that. They're just putting that out in the atmosphere for y'all to just make up your own conclusion about potentially being AI. Girl, that's not AI. Ain't no AI strong enough to mimic. Well, <laughs> Hey, no, there is no AI in this world that can mimic um, coconut voice. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm pretty sure there probably is. Let's play it just yeah. for the audience to kind of, because sure. uh, this is, it's kind of actually crazy when you uh, listen to it. Um, and it's, it's amazing that like people don't have the critical thinking skills to not see that clearly this was like intentional. And it's funny because she meant. To be sitting across from coconut and tell us that you don't think we have people don't have critical thinking skill is wild that is diabolical work to sit across from a man who is sleeping with a woman without protection talking about he didn't know she could get pregnant is absolutely wild for you to be telling us, the audience, that we don't have critical thinking skills while you're sitting across from this man. Like, you're sitting, <laughs> you're sitting across from a man who don't know how children are produced. You see, this man does not know how pregnancy occur, and you are telling us you don't think we have critical thinking uh, uh, skills? How are you going to be mad at us talking about critical things? You can't be mad at us saying that we don't have critical thinking abilities when you're thinking across from a man who apparently just been sleeping around without a condom, not knowing he could potentially be a father if he's sleeping with people without a condom. God, what do you mean? You don't get, you do not. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I'm mad about this because you don't, you definitely, you definitely don't get to take the, the logical high ground here. You don't get to take the logical high ground. First of all, in the first couple of minutes after the, the, the attorney spoke, Coconut is going to say, I was wrong for sleeping with her without a condom. That was my bad. 
You are my confess, girl. And on the show with his attorney, I wish the camera had went back to the attorney shaking his head. <laughs> I wish the camera had went back to the attorney shaking his head. Girl, what do you mean? You're going to sit up there and say, I shouldn't have done... Okay, so you've done the thing that could get her pregnant. She's either lying or you got her pregnant. Like, I don't know what you mean. Right now, you've confessed. You've confessed. In this very video with your attorney, you've confessed to doing what she said you did. They claim that the preference let them lead, yet they are blaming the preference for pregnancy that he caused whatever she did, she was following his lead. Yeah. Unless she's going to say he was submissive in that relation. Unless he's about to sit up there and say, I was submissive, I didn't know what to do, she controlled everything. I don't know what he's talking about either. I do not know what he's talking about. <clears throat> Miss Tricks Monica said, hey, I got her pregnant too. <laughs> so, period. All right, let's 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 go. She made this phone call, and then literally within minutes, it's up on Instagram. Like, oh, and I have to tell you, like, I, I was like, what I, the hell? I could have dubbed this call, because as I'm listening, I'm going, oh, yeah, it's this one. Like, I, I, I have listened now to 50 of these yeah. for, from professional athletes, you know, influencers, uh, hedge fund guys, uh, top name surgeons in the city at, at top hospitals. I mean, it really is. Successful men have a target on their back. And this is one of the most classic old school shakedowns. This is one of. Okay, so phantom follicles here also. <laughs> this new phantom follicles, phantom follicles number two. What do you mean, rich successful men have a target on their back? Unless you're telling me that women are tricking these men into having unprotected engagement with them, I don't know what you're talking about. Unless you're telling me that these women are tricking these men and these men don't know how children are produced, I don't know. What do you mean they have a target on their back? Women want to be with these men. These men can choose not to be with these women. And if they're doing so, protect themselves. I don't know what you are talking about, sir. Like, I... Just no, no accountability. This man slept with this woman, woman, with multiple women, actually, without using protection. And he is now confused, getting lawyers involved, sitting up there whining and crying online about being trapped. Are you dumb? Well, that's not a real question because we all know the answer. You have to be all kind of idiotic to not know that this would happen. those ones that again I, I could do the phone call like i could have told you i listened to it and i was like oh yeah it's that it's like like it's like she went in and picked like menu option a you know <laughs> and that's the call it's like i, I could if, if it wasn't breaking attorney client privilege i got about a half a dozen celebrities that you've probably seen in is this attorney not an embarrassment this is embarrassing what is embarrassing is he's pointing out lcm how obvious the phone call is that she was trying to do something and trick him he didn't know he didn't know. So as obvious as it was, it wasn't very obvious to Coconut. So it could be as obvious as you think it is. It wasn't obvious to him. Films and TV that I put you in touch with and they go, oh, yeah, I got that call. I remember that call. Her name was Janet. You know, oh, I remember that call. That was Kiki. You know, and, and that's how it is. And by the way, you guys live in the city where those calls always come from. I don't know what it is about Miami. Maybe that's why I haven't come on. I'm afraid I'm going to show up in Miami and suddenly I'll get out of the airplane and someone will claim they're pregnant with my child. Like, I'm afraid that will happen instantly when I get off of the plane at MIA airport. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, sorry. Please, yeah, no, no worries. We'll... Sir, there's one thing I can promise you. There's not very many women rushing to... I'm going to leave that alone. Be delusional. <laughs> Me delusional 2024. <laughs> we'll run it real quick, and then I know Fresh can't talk as much, but I, I'll, I'll give a little bit of my commentary because I've, I've, I haven't said anything about this shit either. And um, and, I, and obviously, uh, let's just play the call real fast. Yeah, let's just play it. Go for it. Um, obviously, I know that there's legal proceedings going on. Oh, go yeah. ahead. No, y'all need to get into this. Why he looking like this? He really. The, you want to know something that's frustratingly funny? frustrating and funny is the fact that he think he go 
Put, give us the face to make us believe that he's a victim. You are not a victim. You are the father, but you are not the victim. <laughs> like, in no world are you the victim. So in no, in absolutely no world are you the victim. Looking up there, just looking a mess, like a sad face emoji looking melted. Go ahead, uh, Bill's my bad. I don't want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing it. Pause. Come okay. pause. I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but she's using extreme language and she's calling saying, I don't want to do this, etc. And she's fishing for a response. Right. It's very obvious. And, and the thing, too, is that, like, I mean, I know this, like there was an agreement that they weren't going to ever have kids. Like, wh but why is she calling now saying, oh, I, I'm pregnant? It's so funny because how she's talking, I'm like shocked because I'm like, normally you don't talk like this. Yeah. It's, it's more like it's like. Girl, you didn't know anything. Normally, you don't talk like this. Girl, you don't know how she talked normally. You don't nothing about this woman. You just useless. Just, I, 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 oh, my, I don't know if it's the degeneracy or how dumb he presents, that's making me annoyed. The, I, I don't know which one I'm more annoyed by. Because I just know they're just dragging him. Yo, in truth, let me say this, because I was very annoyed with their fans, still am. But in truth, he's been getting dragged. <laughs> like, I feel like there is a collective drag. Like, even in Destiny defending him is calling him dumb and and like stupid or whatever right so like i haven't seen a defense of coconut even <laughs> even lace front yelling and getting mad he's pointing out all the comments aimed at coconut and say coconut is useless he is a W-A-N-A-B. He's a nab. He needs to be removed. He brings nothing. Like, all of that is sad. The one thing that I do feel bad about, <clears throat> and this is probably because I have an accent, they're saying he doesn't know how to speak English and he adds nothing of substance to the podcast. <laughs> and I feel bad for him. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm laughing, but I feel bad for him because, like, I know how that feels to feel like my accent stands out. So, like, well, Coconut, I get it. I get you. You're just struggling to learn the, the, the English we speak. Same. You and I are... No, we're not in no same boat, girl. Absolutely not. Yo. It, you're, it's pulling a script. Yeah. Almost. But I'm like... And it's good on your part because you don't really say too much. No. Nah, but but I, it's... I'm just, I'm just... I'm like, wait, what's going on here? Yeah. So, Again, there was an agreement that they weren't going to like have kids or anything like that. And then now she's coming in saying, like, oh, I'm... Where the agreement at? Where is the agreement? You don't get to say that. There was an agreement that we're not going to have kids. You do not get to say that unless you're going to provide proof. The only agreement I know is that if you and a woman engage in this way without protection, you're both consenting to having children. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I literally don't know what you're talking about. So to sit up there and say, oh, we had an agreement not to have children. Oh, you need to show that explicit agreement. You have the burden of proof to provide that explicit agreement because all I see and all I hear is that in a text to you, she said, you are lucky this time that I'm not pregnant. Her saying you're lucky seemed to imply that if I get pregnant, you're not that lucky because I'm not getting rid of it. pregnant and i don't want to kill the baby and all this other stuff and it's like what the hell like what's she's religion yeah i'm like what are you doing right now she's not religious guys i'll tell you that yeah all right let's let's continue on. i want to keep the baby okay well like i said i just don't want any kids pause now very obvious fishing for a or a response like uh, what the hell are you doing? Uh, no, uh, no, you better not. Blah blah blah. Like she was trying to fish for an emotional reaction to make you look crazy there. Yeah, hundred percent. 
right, we can... And this is a pretty classic tactic, guys, because the reality is that, I, again, I've done this in the courtroom so many times. I've played these kinds of recordings. I can't tell you how many times I've heard the, what are you doing? No, don't hit me. Oh, my God. What, oh, wow. what is that knife? Why do you have that knife? And meanwhile, my client's like, I was on the other side of the room, <laughs> and I, I, had not, I had a banana in my hand that I was eating. You know, oh, my God, what is that, that gun you're holding? You know, so, so the, 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 the sound... So you've played a lot of recordings in court from phone calls where the two people were in the same room and the woman was pretending like there was a knife. Why would they be calling in the same house? I'm not saying it didn't happen, but period. Themis, your accent is cute, and you have intelligent things to say. Y'all are not. Oh, we are not the same. I was under no pretense that we were. <laughs> I was not deluded in that way, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Waddles, she can collect child support while she's pregnant since they're in Florida. That statute state may be backwards, but that aspect of the law has come to hold these dust balls to account. <laughs> Thank you, Waddles. Thank you. I just, I am, I am, I am disgusted by, by this right here, this right here. I am disgusted by this. Like, no sense of professionalism at all. The gooey substance at the bottom of the garbage. <laughs> In truth, he might have just said recording, so not phone call, but it wouldn't be similar. But go off, sis. I have heard many times... The sound I just heard, and that is the sound of a man who almost sounds like he's got PTSD. But he's like, wait, what are we talking about? What is going on? Like, who am I talking to right now? This sounds insane. Who speaks? That is true. That is true. The listening to the listening to the tape, Coconut does sound like he's confused. He doesn't know what's happening. He doesn't know which direction to go, and he doesn't understand like anything at all. Um, that is his normal state of being. <laughs> That is, that is, like this is the same man that's asking who knew who found out who 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 decided that two plus two is four. That's the same. Like, that is the same man that tried to figure out who decided that two plus two is four. Right? Like so. Like that he's confused is not anything new. And like because you are probably new to him, you said you were their friends. I don't know. But like if you've ever listened to him. That he is confused isn't surprising, like, at all. Like, at all. He's in a constant state of PTSD. <laughs> Just always shocked. <laughs> Just always shocked and probably remembering something traumatic. I don't know. Um, they are probably help for that, but, like, yeah, I agree with you speaks this way, who pauses in that way as if for, okay, now let's let you talk, let's get some dramatic effect going. Like, this is not a conversation between two adults who are talking about something not for performance purposes, one-sided performance purposes, but because they actually want to have a dialogue. And again, ask yourselves, what kind of person, if you were dealing with something truthful and this serious, does this, records it, and immediately publishes it on the internet, and then continues to follow it up with more internet postings? All right, that is super important. Who records something and immediately posts it to the internet and keep following it up with things? Remember earlier in the conversation, he wanted us to believe that she used AI to capture his voice and then create this thing about potentially having AI speaking on behalf of Coconut, and that wasn't actually Coconut. How are you saying that while also saying she immediately posted? It felt like she wouldn't have time to edit it. So you are contradicting yourself. While I would expect that from the the Walter and Myron, I don't expect that from the attorney. I do not expect the attorney to be eating himself. Which is why your comment, by the way, stood out. She would need to train the AI for some weeks or months and would need enough voice samples. This is dumb. Yeah, it would take a while to do it. And he just explained that it didn't take a while. He, she did it almost immediately in his mind. Actually, he didn't say almost. He said immediately.
What kind of human being? Is a serious human being do that? Does a person who has any self-respect or respect for other people do that? Does someone who do someone with self-respect go sleep around with a bunch of people, potentially impregnating them, and then disregard his life, his responsibility? Does that sound like a self-respecting person to you, sir? Absolutely not. And that is coconut. You're welcome. Actually, you want to have a kid do that? No. Like, like that, that's the other thing, too, for no. all you simps in the fucking chat right now. <laughs> Abortion. Bro, do you think someone who's actually really pregnant with a child would do this shit? Like, well, I'm gonna tell you too, it's a classic, a classic Simpson, tactic on this. Classic tactic on this. Like, is oh, fucking Simpson it check. becomes it becomes the um, I'm gonna need some money for the for the to terminate pregnancy. I'm also gonna need some money to recover after that because it was very traumatic for me. Or if that shakedown doesn't work, it turns in a couple of months. <gasps> I lost the baby. My goodness, I lost the baby. It's so, and by the way, now I'm very upset that I lost the baby. And obviously I'm not going to return the money for the stroller and for the car and for all the down payment on the condo that I said that I needed because I was going to have your child. But yes, I lost the baby. And if you say, well, are you sure you were pregnant? Are you, well, how dare you ask that? Look, I have a, a, a something from Planned Parenthood. And what about it? You sound like a hater. What about it? What about it? If you don't want this to happen, you have one simple decision to make. Should I do this without protection or should I do this at all? I don't know why you all are upset. Oh my God, she trapped me. She's near this. She want money. She did she that. Uh, you probably should have been more control of yourself, in better control of yourself. I don't know why they're whining and crying. And I don't know what this attorney is doing right now. Like, it what his efforts right now is so useless outside of placating the two men that apparently are his uh, client. <laughs> that I've posted on my social media that you know there's no way to edit a PDF, guys. Don't you know that? Don't you know there's no way to take a generic piece of paper from Planned Parenthood that anybody could get for ten dollars and and change it to say whatever it is you wanted to say, and then in a few months just turn around and say, oh, I lost the baby. It's such a tragedy. And again, if you defend yourself, if you say anything in the court of public opinion, you're you lose no matter what. Which is why, again, you know, revenge is a dish best served cold. There are criminal. I want to. Oh my god! I wish I cursed. Cause like I want. He needs to be dragged too. Revenge is a dish best served served cold while you're up here putting all the information out there. Like, if they had an actual case, it would be beautiful to be quiet and then drop it so that they can attack when they need to attack. This is just wild, and it's all PR. From my perspective, this feels like all PR. In fact, in fact, the idea that it's criminal to record someone in Florida without their knowledge might not apply because she might have been in New York. Is the lawyer projecting? It looked like he'd been through some things, girl. And I'm not just talking about his hairdresser. <laughs> it looked like he's been through some things. <laughs> he, he looked like he's been through it. It looked like all his life he had to fight. <laughs> the DNA <laughs> around here growth. And civil penalties for this kind of behavior. Wait, uh, I can't respond, right? Damn. I want to say nope, so bad. you cannot respond. Sorry. Mm -hmm. He had nothing to say there. He had absolutely nothing to say there. I can't respond. Why were you why are you announcing to us you can't just sit there and shut up? Talking about, oh my god, I can't respond. As if you had anything of use there. What 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 did you what were you trying to add there, Walter? Tell us, tell us. Please tell enlighten us. What were you gonna add? You won't go add anything. Like they're out there, oh you can't talk, you can't talk. Now they're having a stream dismantling Abba and preach with bombshell truth. Girl, I cannot wait. Oh my god, they move the time. This was at 30 something minutes before, and now it's still at 37. They changed the time, I think. I'm directing you not to respond. I know you want to. They can kill me in the chat if they want to. Grow up, go to law school, and then you can tell your clients whatever the hell you want to tell them. But I'm telling you, this is not the time to make this comment. Because I know there. How you know what he was going to say? How do you know what he's... No one, literally no human being on earth, ever knows what Coconut is about to say. He... <laughs>
every time coconut opens his mouth, I am I am floored at the foolishness that comes out. So I know for a fact this attorney does not know what coconut is going to say. So the fact that he is up here pretending like coconut has some hard facts that he's about to drop and he can't say it because a lawyer told him not to say it is some wild foolishness. Girl, we are not dumb. We we are not dumb. Oh, don't say it. I know you want to say what. You don't have anything to say. The Grand Wizard Roller to Master Park. A period. By the way, I rewatched Avatar The Last Airbender and uh, the, the adaptation, the live action, and I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I enjoyed this on the first go. Anyway, we'll talk about that some other time. There's a lot of additional information you have because I know that information, but I'm telling you now is not the time. Yeah. Let, 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 let somebody just keep digging the hole. Let them just keep digging the hole because that's the time you unleash the information. Uh, play the play thing. Uh, we'll, Please we'll, keep yeah, going. It's a few, this more, is, it's, it's a few more seconds. Performance. Yeah, it's a few more seconds. And it's crazy to me how people are, um, you know, immediately saying like, oh, she's pregnant. Uh, yo, you're in, encouraging an abortion, etc." Bro, we don't know if it's even true. Like, you know, the ambulance, we don't know if it's even true, is wild. Y'all are saying she's lying, and y'all don't even know if she's actually pregnant. So that in and of itself is wild. I do not like the ambulance chasey type people. I don't like these. Let me leave it alone, because it's going to sound kind of, Ill yeah, I'm going to leave it alone. There's a kind of personality type that's like a, 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 um, a car salesperson, which it's not all like salespeople, but the way this attorney approaches selling himself and connecting is really disturbing to me. It, it is really disturbing. But I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna ease up off of the attorney. Be, I'm just gonna ease up a little bit. You know, they say hell hath no fury like a woman's going Like, bro, this at the end of the day, let me just fucking say, this. she's mad because Fresh didn't want to get her a fucking apartment in Miami. Ta-da! There you guys fucking go. All right. She's mad because Fresh didn't want to fucking get an apartment in Miami and he didn't want to be with her no more. That's Why did she believe Fresh was going to get her an apartment in Miami? Was Fresh out here promising women apartments in Miami? And what kind of behavior is that? It sounds like Fresh was attempting to trap this woman and trap her in a bunch of lies about how he's a high-value man who is going to get her an apartment in Miami. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like Fresh is doing the things you tell men not to do with women. They're calling it simping. And y'all can't see how that's a problem? Yeah, yeah, y'all know. She's mad Fresh didn't want to get her an apartment in Miami. Okay, why would she think that, though? why she's doing all this shit all right she did a pregnancy test before in fucking barbados and it came back negative sorry i had to fucking say this shit it's fucking annoying me these fucking ass clowns in the chat saying all this bullshit whatever there's a high likelihood it's not true and she's doing this shit because she knows that she's done she knows that he don't want to be with her no more so she's like let me take the fucking building down with me let me burn this bitch down and make him look terrible let me record this fucking phone call pre and premeditated call it make him get a reaction so i could put this shit on the internet put it on instagram stories immediately after it happened to me what is it? You guys remember three years ago? Some fucking check. Three weeks later. Oh, I'm pregnant. It was a fucking lie. She used that shit to do a media run, went everywhere, did interviews all over the place, ran her OnlyFans up. Did you guys forget about that? Did you guys forget about that? That shit happened to me too. And it's happening again. Gentlemen, fucking gentlemen I have to tell you. The only way this can happen to Fresh is if Coconut continued to do what he did with her without protection. And so it could be the case that she's lying. The problem is. Coconut over there is stressed out. Coconut is stressed, stressed, talking about you should just take the pill. Coconut believes she's pregnant, mind you. Coconut, based on the phone conversation, believes this woman is pregnant. And the reason he would believe that is because he engaged in a way that could impregnate her. That's why. So even if she's like doing this to burn it down on her way out, you gave her the ammunition, you gave her the fuel, and you gave her the lighter. 
I don't know why y'all are mad. She's lying. She's lying. Yeah, she could be lying, but she would have nothing to lie about if you didn't engage with her in the way that you engage with her. You gave her the ammunition. Like, I'm I'm so annoyed by the fact that she's he's like, she could be lying, and this could be a case that she just want to burn things down on her way out because Coconut don't want her anymore. Yes. But the problem still remains. Even if she's lying, the problem is you engaged in this very specific way with her that gave her the ammunition to do what she's doing now. How do you not see this? Like, and they do see it. That's the problem. They do see it. They're trying to reframe the conversation. We're not about to reframe it. Was fresh out here, sleeping around with women without protection, while telling people that women want to trap them and you should stay away from these kinds of women, while you're also engaging with these kinds of women without protection. Like, are you dumb? Even if she's not pregnant, the fact that you engage this way is the problem because of your platform and what you tell people to do. I don't know how you don't see this. And they do. A bunch of idiots. Like, oh my God. They really think they need to whisper, get pregnant. Well, anything else is female trap. N- not only that, it is weird that like, even if you built the platform to entertain, one would believe that as your audience is growing and you're getting all kinds of resource and you start, when people start paying you for something, when people start paying you for advice, I feel like there should be, even if you weren't at the time, the, the move towards being a better person and at least attempting to live that which you preach, right? So I would expect both of these men to have a girlfriend or a girlfriend who is like really quote unquote modest and like very church going or whatever it is. But like the way they drag Instagram models and the way they drag modern women, you would think they would have a woman who is covered up from head to toe. The only thing visible is her eyes. You would think that's the kind of woman they're with, but absolutely not because they're hypocrites. No moral having hypocrites. It is the big, you are in a huge fraternity. I, I'm not kidding when I say that this is the sign of success. I, I, I cannot, because of attorney-client privilege, tell you how many men in a 25-year career I have seen this exact story play out with. Much of the time, there was no pregnancy. Much of the time, there was a pregnancy that mysteriously miscarries a short time later, usually after the check clears or the wire transfer is completed. Um, sometimes there is, in fact, a pregnancy. But many of the times, once that pregnancy comes to completion, wouldn't you know, the DNA test reveals that the individual who was alleged to be the father of this child, usually the one with a seven or eight figure bank account, um, turns out to not be it. And the scumbag boyfriend who they had on the side um, who, you know, uh, uh, makes minimum wage, he was the one who happens to have all the genetic markers tied to this child. So, you know, there's a whole lot of ways this story ends at the majority of the time. And again, now is not the, we're not doing a postmortem on this situation yet because it's not done yet. But I, I, I will tell you with a very high degree of confidence, knowing a lot more about this situation than, than anyone in this situation other than the gentleman himself, that there is a lot more happening here and a lot more information that if you were a reckless individual and, and ignoring my advice as counsel, you would unleash immediately. Okay, I don't believe you. Person with the here, I don't believe you. If you were a reckless individual, you would release the information I'm telling you not to release. They are reckless. That is why they're in the situation. What do you mean if they were reckless? They're reckless. He is reckless. Coconut is absolutely reckless. He is the definition of reckless. Google reckless and you will see his face, unfortunately, looking right back at you. That's what you would see. Reckless is his middle name. What do you mean if they were reckless? It is because he has been reckless that you are now on here lying for them. In my opinion, I have no proof that this man is lying. Just delusional. <laughs> what is the opposite of the halo effect? Why? <laughs> 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 
both barrels but i i appreciate that you are at least following some of my advice the fact that we're talking about this at all means you're not completely following my advice the reality is if you don't talk you walk and that talking is about this stuff just gives it oxygen i mean you're just giving this individuals 15 minutes another 15 minutes i understand why you're doing it i understand that it's important to want to protect yourself and i understand that your 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 your, your partner here is uh is is uh less restrained and certainly uh, wants to protect you which i respect the bond Mind you, the attorney po pointed out that good, successful men have restrained. That's what he started this off with by saying men need to be restrained and not emotional. And now he's saying your partner here is not that restrained. <laughs> so even these men know these men are like just kind of useless. <laughs> to be sitting up there. <laughs> Your partner is not restrained while you define a high-value, successful, strategic man as being restrained. To call them not restrained is diabolical. But period, drag them. It's a brotherhood in that way. But, you know, let, let, if you want to finish listening to the last few seconds of this Oscar-worthy performance, yeah. um, I, I think we certainly can, can do that. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Bells, you got it. Okay, so what you going to do? And what you going to do to me? What you going to do to me? Okay. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. He is sick. You want to know? I'm going to give. I'm going to give Coconut some advice. This is actually true. Like this comes from the deepest part of my soul, and I believe this with every piece of me. It's going to be okay, Coconut. And here's why it's going to be okay. No one believed in the first place, that you were useful in any meaningful way to improve men's ability to access women, right? And so this does not hurt your credibility in any meaningful way. I don't believe any human being right now is looking at you any differently than what they saw you as when you first opened your mouth. Like, I don't believe anyone saw you and thought, this is the man who is going to lead me to the promised land of women. This is our Moses. I don't believe anyone. I don't believe anyone saw you and said that, right? So that's the good news. And I feel like you should take comfort in the fact that this, who you actually are, is how people saw you. And on the flip side of that, I think you should be righteously indignant if anyone came to you and said, I thought you were different. If, like, actually, let me, let me get bigger and say this. If any man walks up to you, Coconut, and said, I thought you were different. I thought you were better. I thought you wouldn't get caught up in this. You should look at them and laugh and ask them why. L literally ask them, why would you think that? Has anything that I have ever done ever in my life that has been portrayed publicly, have I ever done anything to indicate to you that I have any sense whatsoever? <laughs> like, <laughs> what have I done for you to believe that I have sense? that I am mentally equipped to deal with women who I wouldn't have access to but for my money and resource and my popularity. But, like, no one, I don't believe anyone should be upset. Now, they can be upset at the platform and the hypocrisy of the platform, but you as an individual, if any of these men, if any of them even come to you Forward them to me. Send me the email and I will drag them in the email for you. Because no, no one should be attacking you. No, there should be zero people attacking you for tricking them or making them believe that you were an alpha, making you, them, making you 
out to be some kind of hero who understands women, right? You can barely even speak. You, no, don't listen to them. Do not listen. This is what we would expect of you. You are following the course. Your the, your actions are in alignment with the trajectory that I had for you and everyone should have had for you. And if anyone believed that you were better than this, if anyone believed you were smarter than this, if anyone believed that you had more to give to the world than this, um, they're delusional. And you need to tell them that they're delusional. Stand in your truth. This is who I am. I want to be. <laughs> a nab like this is how you've presented yourself from day one you went on ethan ethan's podcast and even he was like looking at you like you just got me meshed up mess up you you you're just in the wrong crowd getting swallowed up right your personality is that of just a person who is just there to get along you like it I don't expect you to stand firm in anything. I don't expect you to be confident when it comes to women. I'm pretty sure she's like, I need an apartment. And you were like, yes, until you met up with your friends and they gassed you up and told you not, not to give her the apartment. And now she's mad, right? Like, I get you. And if anyone, again, comes to you with the foolishness that I thought you were an alpha, I thought you were a leader, where? Where? This man barely even speaks. Like, what leadership? Obviously, Lace Front is the leader. Like, Lace Front has been at the forefront of all the conversation. He's just there for moral support. Not even that. Like, he offers absolutely nothing. Like, Walter Coconut is a comedic relief. And by comedic relief, I mean he is, in fact, the punchline. Like, he is the punchline. Like, he's not even a joke, right? It's like... Let him speak when you want to change the temperature of the woman you want people to laugh, right? Like, and it's not because he is funny as a person or he is a funny person. It's just his existence on the platform is the joke. So I, like, I, I don't know why anyone would be mad. Like, I, I don't get it. That don't make no sense. All right. So that is me defending... That is me defending um, Coconut. You're welcome. This solidifies the position. If you aren't a follower of your own advice, what use is it for me to pay for it? A period. And anyone, by the way, I don't feel like you conned anyone or tricked anyone. If someone was dumb enough to give you their money, thank you, Yuji Rose. If someone was dumb enough to give you their money, they didn't want it. If someone was dumb enough, if there are men dumb enough to book private sessions and one-on-one -on -one coaching with you, girl, they didn't want that money. And like, I feel like you should get attorneys defending you against anyone saying that you took their money and you lied to them and you don't live up to your own principle. No, they wanted to waste their money. Like they wanted to waste their money. It, it's not on you. I don't believe it's on you. You owe them nothing. You should not give any of that money back. This is not legal advice, but you shouldn't give money back. You shouldn't feel bad. You shouldn't feel like a hypocrite. Regardless of what you said, people could have seen through that and see that it was mere puffery. Ain't nobody looking at you and thinking you're a leader, girl. Ain't nobody did that. No one did that. And if they said they did it, they're lying. They're lying. They're all lying. As confused as he acts, one would think that he could find... <laughs> I'm done. I'm not reading that. I cannot believe you put that. Uh, Walter is channeling UGA or Department Mask. Oh, no, not UGA, girl. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, do I have a bulldog? No, I don't have the bulldog uh, thing on my computer. Alicia, welcome. El Alicia, welcome to the membership. Jane... Welcome to the membership. All right, let's continue. I feel like you y'all should pay me to do y'all PR. I feel like I'm doing great PR for you. This is great PR. So like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. I mean, it's for the to doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want an abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Because I'm like, there's no way that that's true. Then it's like, oh wow, like 
So I'll just think about it. It's mean to be. Can I say why that might not be true? Or no, I can't. No, not right now. All right. No. God wants God wants you to have the baby. No, God's in no. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. Pause real and quick. then you're relating. Pause real quick. A lot of you fucking guys in the chat, I don't know what you guys forgot or whatever. Some of you guys like think we're trad cons over here or we're super religious. We said it a million times. I'm not a practicing Muslim. Fresh isn't a practicing Christian. Correct. We run a fucking dating podcast for all you ask-ons and teach you guys how to get laid. So what the fuck makes you guys think? that? You remember when Ethan asked him if he was Muslim or religious on the podcast and he just... Anyway, literally, my one was like, I cannot be anti-Semitic. And then went off into this whole weird thing that he was doing. And then there was a question about his, specifically his religion. And he could not, he did not want to answer the religious question. So I'm just going to ignore, I'm just going to ignore everything. Latest one is saying, Pug Life, oh, Nak has been here for seven months. Thank you. Ivy says, no one thinks he's a leader, not even. <laughs> Dark and gorgeous, 16 months. Thank you so much. Um, Jane Theory, I don't know how these gift membership works. And I'm going to do some research on it. But thank you. Um, gifted 10. Wait, is that like 10 people you gifted members to? Who do I, I don't know how this works, but thank you. That is so amazing and kind and great. That is spectacular. I don't know what it means, by the way. It just sounds like you are giving people membership, which would be amazing. Um, oh, it goes to random people. Okay, period. Um, at the end of the month, what happens? <laughs> I love that so much. I will have... Um, when I come back, I next... The next week, I'll be doing a lot of um, member live. I'm going to do some membership live. Yeah, we're sitting here, and we're being traditionally conservative and all religious and shit. We've never been religious. We brought guests on that are religious that talk about religion and et cetera, but we're not because we bring guests on that have different viewpoints than us, and we're okay with that. We don't have an echo chamber over here. But we've told you guys a million times, we're not fucking religious. So don't sit there and try to hold us so sustainably. Oh, the gifts, oh, 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 all this other bullshit. Bro, number one, this shit game is fucking cap, in my opinion. I think it's a fucking lie, right? Because I've, been, I've the, bitches have done this shit to me. I've, it's happened. That's number one. Number two. We are not religious, okay, guys? We said this many times. So you guys try to sit there, Fresh, you could you could be a man of God, you're a man of Christ, blah, blah, blah. Fresh has said many times, I'm a man of God, and he's just kidding around. Y'all know that we deal with fucking chicks. We teach y'all how to get them. Yeah. Like, we give you a second. We're not advice. tracons over here. Yeah. And gentlemen, uh, the real the reality. I agree with Myron there. I do. They, these men have told y'all who they were. And if you looked at them and expect them to uphold any level of morality or anything like that, uh, girl, you've lost your mind. So I agree with them. The reality here is everyone who is listening to this, particularly any man who is listening to this, I know the majority of your audience is male, um, anyone who is listening to this, should, this should put a chill down your spine. You are not safe. You're only safe if you're unsuccessful. So feel free to be unsuccessful. You'll never have this problem. But I guarantee you that if you are a successful man at some point, these kinds of allegations get made. I've had these allegations made against people who go, I've never even been in the same state as this woman. I've never been in a room with her. Where every time I've been in a room with her, there were other people there. Uh, this happens to married men. This okay, that's easy to prove, though. That's easy to prove. If you're successful and you've never done what needs to be done for a woman to be pregnant, it's very easy to disabuse everyone of that notion. So I don't know what this person is talking about, but go off. Go off, sir. Prof Ex Professor has been a member for 18 months. Thank you so much. Um, for the algo, we'll be catching the replay. Thank you. Thank you. The algorithm thanks you. This happens to Muslims, Christians, Jews. This happens to pretty much everybody. And I will tell you, again, listen to this recording. If you've taken the time to listen to the recording, listen to the recording. Like, look, the reality is, is this is not how someone speaks when they're having an actual conversation. Yet most of the <laughs> screaming she trapped me on. So, right? Not only that, like, even if she's, like, setting him up on the phone, this does nothing to, like... Okay, 
she is the worst person in the world. She's Jezebel. She's all of that. Okay, whatever. Did you engage with her in that way without protection to potentially lead to her being pregnant? Oh, you did? Oh, shut up. We don't care. That's it. That that's literally it. That that is it. All of this mushmouthery from the lawyer to Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I don't care what they have to say at all. I'm listening now because it's funny, and I love seeing them meltdown online and saying absolutely nothing. This is if, if you said to me that her voice was AI, I would say, you know what, AI is way better than that. Like this is shitty AI because what this is is someone who really has no future as an actress because this <laughs> this is so unbelievably a setup. This is a professional hit, and why? Why? If you are if you if you can't see that, you're blind. And if you see that and then give credit to anything that this person is saying, then, then shame on you. If you can't see that you're blind, girl, tell Walter that again. Please tell what please tell Coconut. Let Coconut know how blind, deaf, and dumb he is. R- drag him. Cause I don't know why you're telling us. It's he who didn't know what was happening. Even the pirates wouldn't capture him for ransom. And, and certainly don't claim to be, oh, I'm a man of God or I'm not, whatever. Because, look, the reality here is there, there's truth and there's, there's fiction. And, and, and the reality of this recording is this is not a good faith conversation in any capacity. This is a setup. This is a hit. And when someone does a setup, a hit, and immediately unleashes that to the public for the purposes of clout chasing yeah. or a shakedown financially, anything else that comes out of that person's mouth, the Bush doctrine applies. We do not negotiate with terrorists. We don't do that. That's not what we do. Yeah, and to be honest with you, even as us having this stream, I didn't even want to do. It. I want to do an IRL stream and like get back to it, get back to it. But people were just bombarding us with this, so it's like, all right, we'll address it for you guys. But it amazes me. I'm sure you wanted to do an eye roll stream and then move on. I am sure you wanted to do that because, like most. Skip that. That would have been really bad on me. Accountability does not live there. So I am sure you would have wanted to do an eye roll stream and move on. I'm sure you would have. Okay, she is all of that. It was an assassination. Fine. My question is, how did you become her victim? Aren't you supposed to have small this? Uh, yeah. That, that's like the whole... Her, his whole thing, the whole thing is that they don't, they are not, they can never be victims of this and they are going to teach men how to not be trapped by this. So for them to be up here whining and crying about getting trapped is disgusting to me. For them to even be in this position highlights how useless they are. But again, if anyone believed these men when they spoke about their high value and alpha status and how they treat women and they don't care about women and blah, 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 and they know how to escape and who to avoid. If anyone believed them, absolutely not. I don't believe you. That you guys are so quick to believe that gets on the internet that clearly did this, set it up, premeditated, went to Instagram immediately after illegally recording a phone call, and you guys are so quick to say, wow, Fred, you're such a bad guy, blah, blah, blah. Bro, this chick is lying. And like, I mean, this, again, this is my take. I mean, I, I'm not privy to the conversation that Fresh had with his counsel, but I'm telling you as an outsider looking at it, I'm like, bro, this is a fucking lie. When I first came on uh, before we started recording, and I spoke with the two of you briefly, I, I said to both of you that I think that the less that's said about this, the better from a legal perspective. I have not spoken to the attor- freshest attorney about what is happening. Follow up. Before I came on, I spoke to both of you as a wild. <laughs> the fact that the fact that Lace one just said he didn't speak to the attorney, and then the attorney came and said, "I, we, I spoke to both of you about being quiet." <laughs> Ah, this is their business, right? Their business is being affected by this and how they decide to approach all of this is very important to the business side of what they're doing. And Myron wants us to believe that he's not in communication with the attorney and Coconut. And so when he thinks she's lying, 
he does not want to speak for um, Coconut and the attorney. He wants to speak for himself because he wasn't privy to their conversation. Girl, you think we dumb? I mean, from a liability perspective, I can understand that. But this lawsuit might be coming quick, fast, and in a hurry. If there's a defamation lawsuit, there might be a defamation lawsuit. Girl, what do you mean? <sighs> God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Uh, poor, what's her name? Candace Owens. Apparently, he, she's about to debate Ben Shapiro. And I can't wait to see that debate perspective I, I there's a script that i often give to clients which is i have no specific recollection of any wrongdoing although i acknowledge mistakes may have been made i'd like to move forward past this unfortunate incident you should write that shit down um you know i will tell you there's a reason why you you guys are excellent communicators you have a great point of view it's why i was a fan before i was your counsel More but uh i gotta tell me and tell you man you're killing me right now you're <laughs> killing me with what you're saying right now because again I'm sorry, man. Yeah. from sorry. an entertainment and a reality perspective i love it preach my friends but but now is not the time to unleash the crack in here. We've yeah, got, yeah, I'm done. I'm we've done. got I'm a done. lot of there's a lot being said right now, and I appreciate Walter that you are taking my if she loses this debate, it would be absolutely ridiculous. She has the entire world on her side on this specific subject. And if she loses this debate, it would be wild. All you have to do is get under um, ben Shapiro's skin around this topic. And the fact that he's made so many contradicting statements, this should be an easy win. I don't care how good of a debater he is, he should lose this debate. Um, and he probably will, just based on his own contradicting statements. But let's not, we, let's move on. Do not add anything else about it. She's not smart. <laughs> She's not smart, but she shouldn't lose this debate. This is a slam dunk. My advice, and you are not saying it, but we are we are going down roads that we do not need to go down right now. There will be time, as I've said now four or five times in this conversation. Revenge is a dish best served cold. There are there are consequences for behavior, and it is not consequences against you. I am talking about. There are consequences for the kinds of behaviors for this kind of a professional attempt at a hit. Because I have to tell you, if you're going to strike at the king, you better kill the king. Because if you don't, you still got a bigger platform than you. So it, it, this this is one of those things that again, just I'm going to say it one more time. You can listen or you can ignore it. There has to there has now is not the time for all of this information to be put out there. Yeah, no, my bad. I just uh, no, no, know. not your bad. I appreciate it, but there there is a time. There will be a time. Now is not that time. I am advising you again, very emphatically that now is not the time to share the many things you have to say, the many screenshots, the many, all of the media information, all the things that I'm able to view that, you know, I, I because of the benefit of attorney-client privilege. No, of but course. I, I'm telling you, now is not the time. I, I'll just say this. We're pursuing every legal course right now, both criminal and civil, against this fucking girl, okay? Just so y'all know. Like, we're going to make sure that she deals with the consequences of her actions, all right? What she did was a, it was a fucking felony in the state of Florida. I didn't realize that there's another count for putting it out there. Um, so that that's that's actually good. Yeah, I'm going to hold her accountable. But why are you not holding your friend across the table from you accountable? That's my first issue. Like, y'all talking about accountability, and you just go ignore this man across from you, Coconut, not being accountable. Was she even in Florida? Because if she was in New York, and even if the geolocation said she was in Florida, girl, she can say she was using something. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. I, I can't wait. I can't wait for this court case to play out. On our end. So, and, and here's the other thing, too. She's a foreign national from fucking China committing crimes in the United States. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Mo, I'm going to fucking swear. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. So my thing is, she is absolutely going to deal with the consequences of these fucking actions, man. Because you want to come at Fresh like this? You want to do this shit for all you ass clowns out there? Oh, bro, leave Fresh, blah, blah. I'm not fucking going anywhere. It is what it is. I stand by him 100%. We have our, had our conversations behind the scenes. You guys can say whatever the fuck you guys want to say, but loyalty is a real thing. I don't believe in the term loyalty to a fault because the whole reality of being loyal is you're loyal regardless of whether it's faulty or not. That's what loyalty is, you fucking ass clowns. But it's, I guess the, this... So loyalty is... To a fault, 
regardless of what the other person does, you're just going to stick beside them. So forget your principle and morality. Because that's not what, look, uh, how you define loyalty and how you go about being loyal is your personal business. But one would believe that loyalty does come with some things attached to it, i.e. if you went out and did something so degenerate that it is considered just generally abhorrent, but abhorrent to my personal values and beliefs, I'm obviously going to detach, right? Like, I'm obviously going to detach. What do you mean? Just say what he's done is not so bad, and therefore you don't see a reason to detach from him because if he turned around and did something to anyone in your family or anything like that, I am sure you are not going to stick beside him through the court case, right? So loyalty does not include, like, it has a limit. Like, it does. And that probably should come with your own morality and principle. But I know you already know that, and you're just being annoying, yelling at people about loyalty where no one asks you about it. Even if you go stick beside him, one would assume you would at least teach him what it means, like, what it means to, I don't know, be with a woman, what a condom is, how to use a condom, like, <laughs> uh, period. Pumpkin chewed up the club, but she is a right, like, oh, uh, I get what you, you did. I saw what you did there. Thing doesn't exist anymore, but that's all I'm going to say is that we're pursuing every avenue to fucking go after this chick for the fucking baseless and false allegations she made, man. I will say one thing. Um, when my had a show, okay, 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 I'm done. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done. No, no, but uh, he's been a good, good friend because uh, when people talk shit about your friend, you should defend them, especially when you know the truth. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks, James. I'm going to jump now. Oh, coconut. Coconut said, when people talk mess about your friend, you should defend them. Wasn't Coconut the one in Ethan podcast laughing at Myron when Myron was getting dragged for his, his expertise being used when he wasn't an attorney? I remember very specifically Coconut la laughing at Myron. Coconut was definitely laughing at Lace Front on Ethan's podcast, and I remember pausing it to show you his face and i told you if that were my friend i would not want him anywhere around me all right girl period so in this way lace front lace front is sticking by <laughs> lace front is sticking by this man and period no listen i have to tell you you, you know the bond of you guys friendship is is, is an amazing thing um, and I have to tell you, and I, I'm not giving anything away of attorney-client privilege when I say it. <laughs> yeah. The fact that he just tried to run his fingers through his non-existent hair at the top is nasty work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fact that he just tried to run his fingers through whatever is left at the top of his head is absolutely nice to her. Like, what do you mean? What do you... <laughs> period. A period. Um, you know, you, I've dealt with, I've dealt with some really uh, incredibly successful people when they're in this situation, and uh, and you can tell when someone's panicked, and you can tell when someone is genuinely trying to figure out what the hell's going on and how the hell to handle it and acting in good faith and ev from every possible metric you know you you've been acting in good faith on this and and trying to to get a handle on what is the right thing and what is actually going on what is truth what is fiction what is conversation and what is performance um what is fake and what is real um and that's a hard thing to do you know it is it is anytime intimacy is weaponized and i've been a divorce lawyer a long time so i know a thing or two about how people weaponize intimacy um it's disgusting it's disgusting because when we share with uh, with another human being we share with a woman you know, parts of ourselves, you know, honest parts of ourselves, and we make ourselves even the slightest bit vulnerable. And then we have to spend the rest of the time pulling the knife out of our back. Um, that's, that's the kind of thing that makes... 
when you share with a woman the most vulnerable parts of yourself and then they turn their back on you and you have to pull out the knife from your back and blah, blah, blah. That is wild to me to say when the woman seemed to be the one in the very, the most vulnerable position in the circumstance, if she is in fact pregnant, to sit up there and make it look like Fresh is the one with the knife in his back when he's telling the woman to get out of his home. The woman is pregnant. She's, he's telling her, I don't care. Just avoid it. I, have, I want to have nothing to do, do with you. And you don't understand why she would be upset. Not that I'm agreeing that she should publicize all of this, right? But the fact that you think he's the victim in the situation is bizarre to me. But like, that's so bizarre to me. Like, can y'all not see past your own pleasure to see that, like, y'all put this person in a very peculiar, like, oh my God. I feel like these men don't understand, like, what could potentially happen for a woman who is pregnant. <laughs> yeah, I would like, I would love to see his wife, for real, for real. Makes the person jaded. In truth, though, I wouldn't. So, I do believe there are people in the professional world who might look at other people who need their help as suckers, right? And he can perform just enough to take their money if he doesn't have anything to give them. And he, he knows their language enough to claw in and extract. And so in some ways he could be, and I'm not saying he is, by the way, in some ways he could just be like this woman. <laughs> the way they're envisioning this woman to trap them could be, just could be this man. Just plugging in and extracting wealth. And what I will tell you is, so far in my conversations with you, you haven't lost your sense of humor. You haven't lost your, your bonds of friendship. You haven't lost your loyalty and you haven't lost your integrity. Um, and that, that's a whole lot more than I can say for the other end of that phone call. So uh, I, I think you, you should be proud of, of the way you're handling yourself in this situation. Um, and I think that, again, as the details of this thing become a little more public and something that can be discussed in more depth after civil, criminal, and other remedies are, are, are fully uh, uh, allowed to move through the system. Um, I, I think people are going to, there's going to be quite a few people that owe you an apology. So. All right. Uh, I think, I mean, is there anything else? Gentlemen, I, mean, I have to go. No, this no, no, we'll let you go, man. You're killing no, me. no, 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 we'll let okay. you go. We'll, uh, <laughs> Thanks, James. Yeah, yeah, thank you for, for coming on, man. Great uh, to see you. I have to say, my first time appearing was not going to be this. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. fate has a way of doing things. And, you know, I just heard someone say that, God planned this sort of thing. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that God did this so that you'd finally get me on the show. But I got to tell you guys, you really went to a hell of a length to get me on the show. I mean, this is impressive. You know, yeah. I really, you yeah. know, making this whole thing up. It's incredible. It's really amazing. I, I'm flattered. I have to tell you. We're looking forward also, to in person. Myron, I, I wanted you to know I'm pregnant and I'm pretty sure it's yours. So I'm <laughs> sorry. I, that, I hey, everyone you. says I'm Danny. Now you joking. You joking with them pictures. You know what? I'm going to leave that alone. I, I'm ignoring him saying they, they kept their integrity. I mean, they they have as much integrity now as they did when they started. So they did keep the integrity that they had. Anyway, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. This is crazy. Thank you, James. Yeah, James, thanks for coming on, man. Good to see you. I'll speak to you very soon. soon. And, guys, this is James Sexton. Yeah. 31K cool. watching. Go support him as well. Yeah, go check him out. Later. That's me. Adam, I see the worst lawyer. Yeah. See you soon. All right, All right man. man. Later. Peace. Take care, gentlemen. Bye bye. Um, yeah, we brought one of the best in the business for y'all, man. Yeah. Uh, James Sexton. Um, so, look, guys, I know that's not what you might want to hear. Obviously, um, you know, th this is like for real. This is very for real. Um, and we're, we're definitely going through. I mean, Fresh has been dealing with all this with, on the phone with lawyers and shit like that. He was at the police department, like, yeah. Yesterday. Uh, man, <sighs> James is gone, right? Yeah. I can't say anything. Bro, I mean, because I got so much to share, bro, and receipts, and I can't do it because uh, if I do it, it might be. Bad, right yeah man i mean you just heard what your lawyer said bro like you know what i'm saying like it's it is what it is bro, i mean oh man bro damn man <laughs> what, what, what do i do bro? <laughs> all right girl they're in the chat they're in fresh and fit chat waiting for fresh and fit 
talking about one plus one is twenty two, <laughs> then two plus two is twenty two. <laughs> Yo, I wish I could just blast the chat. I just, I want their chat to be on like the screen screen right now. Because these people, while they talk, while they're talking, I'm just going to try to zoom in on the chat. Because <laughs> 2 plus 2 is 50% in a relationship. <laughs> Girl, they're going in! This, the chat is going. Their chat is going too quickly. Someone message them and tell them to slow the chat down so we can drag them. Two plus two equals baby by you. Call him. <laughs> Call him two. I thought fresh up with twenty girls. This is gonna be good. Child support. Yeah, fresh your cooked buddy. Wait, <laughs> Daddy Fresh. <laughs> Someone said Lingling is a liar. Please. <laughs> two plus two. Wait, I love these two plus two. <laughs> this is shocking. So late. Two plus two equals four. <laughs> <laughs> so, man up fresh. Marvin about to go crazy. Have EMT waiting. <laughs> 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 All that talk. I hate that fresh being stupid turned into this drama podcast. <laughs> Wait till she finds out fresh doesn't have a green card. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Wait, girl, they're going in. This chat. I'm so sorry. This chat. Oh, let me. This chat is going in. Someone said he looked like a frog. Oh, L fresh frog. <laughs> Girl, the chat. <laughs> Wait, is Joe Rogan dead? Wait, oh my God. Let me, me pretending like I know this man. Let me look. Oh, they're saying there's a rumor about him passing. I don't know. I, I I didn't I didn't see it, but L delay. I have I have my food ready. Anyway, let's continue. Right, wait, I'll read these chats. Yeah, yeah. I'll read these chats, and then you can think about it. If you want to text James on the side and say what you want to say, say but you you already know, bro. More than likely, Whatever. I'll tell you this though. You want to break up, bro? Um. A lot of supporters are supporting as well. So shout to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, the haters are always louder, right? But yeah. like, it's crazy. Ain't nobody supporting you. Like, they are not. They are not. Either they're dragging her to drag her because she's a woman in misogyny. But ain't nobody sitting there supporting Coconut. Coconut, you're lying to yourself if you think people are supporting supporting you. Me. But anyway, um, uh, dude's name is both of you. Shout out to Stop talking. To, uh, listen to your lawyer. Trust me. Yes, bro. I got you. Um, and the Rumble Rants. All okay, right. Shout out to y'all, man. Yeah. Um, and shout out to Destiny, by the way. Yo, we, Destiny, we saw what you did, baby. Yo, Destiny. Oh, my we God. We saw what Destiny did, man. Listen, man. See, and here's the thing. Right? When, De when, when Destiny went through his divorce, mm. and everyone was trying to fucking kick him when he was down. Remember the first look, see, look, you guys were right. Da -da -da. I was like, nah, we ain't doing that. Yeah. I fucking respect Destiny as a man. I like the guy. I don't agree with him, but I respect his viewpoints, and I like the guy, even though we fucking disagree on virtually everything. Listen. Okay? And, and that's another thing, too, that, like, you, I guess you guys are fucking confused because we bring people in from so many different perspectives. I guess we had Muhammad Hijab. When Girl, they don't realize Destiny out here playing chess. <laughs> Destiny trying to get all your fans. Destiny, Destiny, ain't no way. I listen to Destiny debate in defense of Fresh and Fit or in defense of Coconut. It, it is impossible for the same person who have been debating in the way that he has been debating to actually be siding 
to actually, in good faith, be siding with Fresh. And the reason he thinks he gets out of this is he does not at all talk about Fresh and how dumb he thinks Fresh is, which he said, like, Destiny was like, Coconut is dumb, but I don't want to talk about that. Let's talk about her. And then he goes on to drag her for things that he believes make her more... L less of a victim than she wants to portray herself. So that's that's what's going on. But they're praising Destiny, so let's hear them. We had Andrew Wilson on. Two religious guys. Laura. Uh, Laura Loomer. Um, and and they're, Andrew and Muhammad obviously are very religious, right? Orthodox Christian and Muslim. They obviously are not, you know, they're not, they're against abortion, they're against all this stuff. I guess you guys must have forgot that, like, we told y'all we're not religious. We're a fairly secular podcast. Hell, 100%. we teach you guys, we started this podcast teaching you guys how to get fucking laid. We're not religious. <laughs> like, what <laughs> the <laughs> hell? You must be new here. I even said it multiple times. I'm not practicing Christian. I understand the Bible to some, to some length, you know, practicing Muslim, but it's like, bro, like, people forget, man. People it's, forget. They're trying to hold us to, like, some religious uh, 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 standard. And it's like, bro, we but, told y'all from the beginning, we're not religious. I'll tell you this, though. Destiny posted the live stream uh, they talked to her on. If you want more context, go watch that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Stupid. Yeah. Yo, that nigga went in. And, but granted, he answered more questions. Yeah. Why this? Why that? Why are you doing this? And it's apparent what the real motive is, but that's all I'll say. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Destiny, man. Shout out to Destiny, man. Uh, and, 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 you know what's funny? Yeah. He's not, he's not even my friend. Imagine that. Well, we had his back, and he got ours, man. I mean, and bro, integrity. Well, at least you know he has your back. I'm just look. We are these people. Where are these people? Because ain't nobody got time to be sitting up here waiting for them. Because I do want to... I, I want to see what is happening. I want to see them dismantling what Avin Preach said. Someone said, baby Abba. Remember how Abba told them, that lady, that if she named the child Abba... He would pray. He would pay for her attorney fees, and I, I, I'm putting. I, I would put fifty dollars towards it. Yo, they are dragging him in this chat. <laughs> Someone said, "L non-practicing Christian, L time." <laughs> Ah, this is actually so funny to me. Eh? Great. Integrity speaks volumes, guys. And here's the thing, too. Ask a lot of these YouTubers that have worked with us in the past. What do they always fucking say? Yo, first for the cool guys. Mm. They ain't gonna backstab you. They, they, they're, they're loyal. Like that's just what we, how we move. Like, and it's crazy to me how I, I get criticized. We get criticized for, oh, well, you guys are loyal to people, your friends, etc. Look at it paying the back, back in dividends, right? Yeah. Like, doesn't he don't agree with us? He didn't have to do that, but he fucking shut on her anyway. It was fucking fantastic. It was awesome. <laughs> so fucking, it was fantastic. Good channel, man. But yeah, go check it out, man. But like, the point I'm yeah. trying to make is, is that people respect that trait. For all you idiots out there that sit there and say, no, you're loyal to a fault. Bro, it always comes back around positively when you do good to people, man. Yeah. When you do good to people, then you're not a piece of shit, right? And you're, and you don't sit there and you backbite them and attack them when they're down and everything else like that or trying to get a gotcha moment or any of this other crap. They fucking respect you. For all right. So on uh, Fresh, is he purposely like squinching his face up like this? Or is this his resting face? Or is it like his muscles are tired? I've always wanted to know that. Like, is this his natural, I am relaxed? Because it feels very like everything is like tightened. I don't know. Like, it's almost like he's making a frown face. For that shit, especially in this in this realm in YouTube where everyone's a fucking snake, bro. People are real snakes out here. Yeah. Like preying on your fucking downfall. Every day there's people preying on us, like going down. People laugh when we got demonetized. People laugh when we get uh when anything bad happens to us, etc. But we're still fucking here. And isn't it funny? People are like, oh, we we call fresh fifth. That I'm still here. Let me tell. Let me show you what I. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Lace Front said he's still here. I'm not going to play this song because I don't want copyright. But I was going to play Still Here, a performance. <laughs> For comment, you can call us. You just made a video. Who said that? Uh, I'm not going really? to say who, but they made a video. And it's like, all right, cool. I see you, bro. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm going to say quiet, but I won't forget. Actually, hashtag still over there. Okay. There you go. Damn. No. <laughs> no. No. Chucky 98 <laughs> Um, yo, fresh behind you, 100%. All the value you guys have given me, there is no turning back on you guys. Uh, Thank you, bro. Cloud Gaming says, I stand with you, fresh. 
Myron, love your loyalty to your homeboy, man. City boys be up. It's a lost, bro. It's it's really a lost. lost um, it, it amazes me how um, it's it's just a lost discipline. It's like a lost thing. And and people always say, um, masculinity is dead, right? Like we live in a fucking the lost boy generation. Yeah, I mean, it's not just the inability to speak to women or the you know people not being in shape or lower testosterone levels. Like being loyal to your to your friends, especially your guy friends, is like a masculine trait. Standing through thick and thin is very important, right? And that's a lost art too. It's like it, it, we've lost masculinity so many other ways that people don't even realize. And what I've noticed, <clears throat> especially from coming into like this world, the entertainment world, etc., for coming from a law enforcement background, loyalty is a foreign concept. Like it's like a it's like a no integrity. It's, there's no integrity, and it's like t- like the profession I came from, right? As you guys know, I used to work for in law enforcement. Like you're in a door with somebody. Like this is you can literally both die going in. You needed to trust the guy that you're going into the house with. Yeah, this man talking about law enforcement, this and law enforcement, that talking about they're still here, 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 <laughs> they're still here. Um, where are these men at? Is this how y'all feel when I'm late? <laughs> Like, my anxiety is up. My anxiety is all the way up because I don't want to be here all night. I don't actually really care that much. I'm very invested, though, in them. This, Like, I want to see what what they're going to attempt to dismantle. And I'm annoyed, like, I am annoyed because it feels like they're back there trying to figure out what to say still. If you haven't, if you reschedule this live, (laughs) if you... (laughs) Mm. Let me read some comments. What happened? Uh, I'm annoyed. I'm like actually annoyed. So like, whether you liked each other or not, there was that level of respect and that level of like, oh, yo, I'm loyal to you because we can fucking die together. Guys, like I said before, if there's one thing you learn from this podcast. You guys have seen all the bullshit that we've been through. You guys want to know why we're successful and we keep fucking pushing through? Because we stick together man we don't give up that's why we stick together and you guys can say whatever the fuck you guys want to say about fresh about mo about bills about chris or whatever they're with us during the darkest times bro yep and that's why we're still here giving y'all the content that we're giving y'all that's why we've been able to go strong bro most youtubers you guys think most youtubers would be around almost a year after the fact that they got demonetized no, they'd be gone they'd be fucking gone the fact that we've still been able to give y'all content and not only i give y'all fucking bangers give y'all Amazing shit. We had so many guests come on. So many guests come on. We've had banger guests. We had Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, Candace Owens, Andrew Wilson, Jake Shields, um, Rampage Jackson, Jay, Rampage Jackson. Uh, uh, fuck, man, just so many. I can't even. TK Academics. TK Kirkland was just here. Academics, like, bro, like we've brought so many people in in the past. Like, they removed the live chat from this video. I wonder why. They probably edited this video. I wonder why couple of months uh in 2024 everyone's like oh fresh if it's gonna fall off it's in 2024 off. <laughs> we're gonna fall off fuck out of here man we've been getting fucking better and better and better giving you our irl streams etc mm-hmm. we've just made the content better new studio etc everyone thought we we're down for the count we got demonetized but we're fucking here you guys want to know why we're here because we stick together with the people that we came in with that's why when you're loyal to people they're loyal to you like i told y'all before destiny didn't have to fucking do that shit but why do you do that shit because like damn fresh foot stood by me even though we're not friends but they didn't fucking attack me while i was down so you know what i'm gonna fucking shit on this girl for them we didn't tell him. Any other questions? But that's what happens because integrity is so goddamn rare that when. And this, by the way, is why you cannot stand up for men like this. Why would you say destiny? Because we did not mess with him when he was going through his breakup. He went there and s h i t on this girl for us as a sort of reciprocal kind of ex- like. Why would you do that? That is that is dumb. Even if he was doing that, you would not put him in a position where his integrity, his principle, his morality is now called into question because you wanted to use him to validate y'all dusty stance. If he stood up for you, let that stand on its own. Don't then drag him into this verbally by put like y'all are putting a, a moral target on his back. Now, if you're watching this, you kind of it like Honestly, you're kind of thinking, is Destiny a person who is principled or can his friendship be bought? And it sounds like his friendship can be bought because if y'all are sitting, if y'all are sitting up there and probably if you ask Destiny, hopefully he'll say, no, absolutely not. I actually believe what. <laughs> Theme is stop helping them. True. Actually, true. Let them throw their friends under the bus, not knowing it. Because I don't know how dumb you need to be to... Like, why would you say this? You, 
you are literally calling this man's credibility into question. (laughs) (laughs) I just, these people, these people just dumb dumb. When you actually do get it, people are like, God damn, I respect this shit. Yo, they didn't kick me when they didn't kick me while I was down for some views, like everyone else fucking did. Yeah. Guys, I'm telling y'all, man. Maybe you're not a loyal person right now watching the show. Maybe you're not someone that has that integrity. Maybe you're a guy that fucking flows with the wind, right? And you're not able to maintain friendships. People don't respect you, whatever. Bro, practice going against the grain. Practice being that guy that people can trust. Practice being that guy that people can rely on. He tells you something, it says, bro, don't say nothing. You want to be that motherfucker. No one ever heard it. You know how many times people say, yo, don't tell nobody this, blah, blah, blah. Cool. It dies with me. If you say, don't tell anyone, before you tell me anything, I'm going to ask you, is it a crime? (laughs) I'm going to ask you, is what you're telling me a crime or would it cause harm to someone else? Because if it would, I'm going to then tell you to tell me and then I'm going to tell everyone. (laughs) What do you mean? No, I'm not holding nobody's secret when it comes to being criminal. The thing is, this is why you know people are thieves and criminals and they get together and they have one upon each other. I'm not about to sit here and be afraid that you're going to divulge information about me. So in return, I'm going to have information about you. So now we have information. No, if I've ever told you something disgusting, illegal, you have full right to say it. You have, you have full right to say it because in the truth, if you tell me I'm a tell, like I'm not I'm not sitting here and being in this degenerate foolishness with you. I'm not gonna start a, a degenerate covenant. Like I'm not doing that. Like what do you mean? It sounds like a bunch of criminals. This, this sounds like a bunch of criminals talking about, oh, if you tell me this, I will go to my grave. Anything you tell anything, really, really, anything. So they can tell you that they are about to go do something disgusting and you're just going to sit there and say, yeah, fine, I will never tell. No, I'm going to tell. I am going to tell. That's the problem, by the way. I think a lot of people are so afraid that I don't want to be exposed. Look, if I have something that can be exposed, I'm not about to tell anyone. <laughs> if someone told you that I told them something about me, it's a lie. Then they never hear it again. And then they're like, yo, I'm going to tell you something, yo, et cetera. I'm going to tell you this. I'm like, yo, don't tell nobody. I'm like, bro, when's the last time you heard something that you told me again? And they're like, actually, you're right. Yeah. Shit like that is what I pride myself on. People tell me shit, bro. I told you. Arab told me himself. He was fucking kidnapped and he said, don't say nothing. All right. Y'all heard it? Y'all didn't hear it, did you? You heard it when he announced it on Twitter? But that little shit like that, guys, is so important, man. And this isn't a podcast about me telling y'all how to develop masculine traits, etc. But I'm just telling y'all, man, if you have these traits, it's fucking respected because it's so goddamn rare nowadays, man. I'm going to tell y'all this. Please, please note. If you if you spoke about someone that I know behind their back, they already know. Um, if you told me something disgusting that you did, I'm going to tell. If you tell me about a crime you're committing, I'm going to be the one to turn you in. I do not hold those kinds of secrets. I hold personal information that doesn't involve other people and what you're going through with your business. Now, you can divulge to me all kinds of mess and I will never speak about it. But the minute it becomes a moral issue for me, I'm not holding that secret. I absolutely will not. And I would never, ever, ever ask another person to do that for me. Like, I'm not doing that. I will hold it myself. I will deal with my struggle myself. What do you mean? I actually do feel like this might be part of the problem. And even the whole Me Too thing, the reason I think men are so quick to defend other men is because they're putting themselves in the place of these men. And so it's because it can happen to me or because I've done something like this or because I know someone who's done something like this, I am not willing to engage with it. Like, it just feels like there's no principle or integrity. It's just like, we are here. Where are these people? I'm actually very annoyed because I'm tired of this. The, the, I don't like them winging it. Okay, they move it back to two minutes. Got good. I mean, even in public, walking into rooms, 
when you have that respect, you walk in, people show you homage. That's why Miami, we're good. Yeah. And wherever we go. So. Yeah. Uh, did, you, we, did you break the TV? <laughs> this nigga, yeah, there's the a line through the TV now. This nigga yeah. went crazy. It's fine, though. Oh, yeah, what's the, what's the, the Punisher <laughs> Cup? I got another one. <laughs> Punisher <laughs> Cup is gone. So they cut out. It looks like they cut out the part of the stream where he was yelling and g going berserk. Remember that 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 Lady Gaga ra 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 uh, thing? They cut it out. That's why the comment is no longer there. They cut it out. They cut it out. I, I mean, in truth, I would be embarrassed too. I would. I would. I would cut it out too. If I if I was dumb enough to get myself online and be yelling and and cur cursing and pretending like I'm angry. I would remove it too. I would. So no issues there. They cut it out. No principle. God. <laughs> I punished the Punisher cup. Oh. The cup is gone, bro. <laughs> oh, Punisher says, hey, yo, Myron, love you, bro, but you owe me some money for making my damn mug. I take Zell PayPal and personal checks. You <laughs> <laughs> punish a cup. You <laughs> punish a Punisher cup. <laughs> yo, like, it, it, yo, man. It, like, it, it's... It's done. He's he's not gonna do some shit, dumb shit like this ever again, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? It is what it is. Like we talked about it off air, and just so refresh about this shit off yeah. air, man. Like I'm not gonna. That one actually made me cry. I was like, yeah, funny, man. Drink some water. Some people to crash a cup. Yeah, funny, man. <laughs> okay. Hold on one second. Uh, yeah. Frank, Frank Castle for real. Holy. Jay's already ordering another one as we speak. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. Talk to Jay from um. So yeah, man, just so y'all know, guys. Like real talk, man. I had a conversation with Fresh about this shit off yeah. air, man. Like I'm not gonna Trust fucking me. sit here. He should be out. Trust me. Like trust me. We already had this conversation, man. And I know y'all like yo, go fuji gunnable. Trust me, man. Behind the scenes, like it, it, yo, man. It, like it, it's it's done. He's he's not gonna do some shit, dumb shit like this ever again, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? It is what it is. Like we talked about it off air, and you know, and 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 I've made mistakes too, of course. And he's talked to me on the side as well, right? And, and like, but. I don't think, uh, I genuinely don't believe that those conversations are to be had on the internet. I think that should be done behind closed doors. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Like, you don't need to make a, make it a fucking spectacle. Like, if I really care about you and I'm going to have a conversation with you where I care about your self-interest, why am I going to do it in front of a camera? Because she tried to speak with him privately and she released the record of her speaking to him privately where he literally did not care anything about her, telling her that she just needs to take the pill and he don't care, you're going to raise a child by yourself, I don't want no parts of it, leave me alone. So she got mad and dragged him publicly. And you just said you're guilty. I Look. I, if this woman is in fact pregnant with your child, like, I don't know what else you want. Like, you literally, oh, we spoke and we talked about how dumb it was and he won't ever do it again. I'm sure he won't. <laughs> I am sure he will not do it again. Because if she's pregnant and she keeps that child, I, uh, girl, period. Talking about, oh, we spoke about it offline. Show the accountability on camera. All y'all do is drag women. So he did some dumb stuff, and now he needs to be held. Why are you teaching him exposed? Why are you teaching him exposed about what he should do and shouldn't do? Aren't y'all teaching men? Like, y'all are up here teaching men about how to engage with women and what kind of women to engage with. And now you are saying, oh, he did this, and now we've spoken about it after the fact. He shouldn't have done it in the first place. Your whole business model is on teaching men how to deal with these types of women, quote-unquote. And now you're talking about, oh, we spoke about this behind the scenes. God, these people just, oh my God. Like, that's a big red flag. Like, yo, that's a big red flag if someone's trying to hold you accountable in front of a camera. That's true. That's weird, bro. That's weird. Because how can you act? Someone trying to hold you accountable in front of a camera is weird. Isn't that what y'all have been doing to women over and over and over again? 
unless y'all weren't trying to hold them accountable. Y'all were trying to put on a performance for your incel audience. Now, that would make sense because it sounds like you understand that holding someone accountable on camera is kind of useless and you're only disrespecting them and shaming them and embarrassing them for the entertainment of your audience. So you're not willing to do it to your co-host, but you do it to all of the women who come on your podcast. Y'all aren't dumb. Y'all are just degenerate. That's what y'all are. If you're unwilling to hold him accountable on camera, but you can hold women accountable on camera, and the reason you're giving for not holding him accountable on camera is like, why would we do that? We would do that behind the scene because it takes better. Right? You can do that to him, looking like he looked, but you can't do that for the women. This is all for show. Perform. Clowns in the circus. Perform. Hold him accountable. Be a clown. Like, that's what y'all have been doing to women. Be the clown. Perform. Like, I don't know what y'all are doing. Oh, we spoke behind the camera. Maybe you should have spoken to them women behind the camera, too. Actually have a genuine, fruitful conversation in front of a camera. Because we're all men here. We all don't want to back down or look crazy or get uh, emasculated on camera. Like, 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 listen to yourselves when you say this stupid shit. Hold them accountable on camera. That tells me you haven't lived life for real. <laughs> oh, oh, so you do know. You do fully, you do fully know what happens when the camera is on and when people's egos are at play. And you do know how to engage. You understand that you don't generally have a fruitful conversation in front of the camera if you're attacking someone to hold them accountable you have to be very precise in the way that you do it but for maximum impact and virality you drag these women but when it comes to your friend you fully understand how kind of social dynamics and being in front of an audience might work you fully understand that you understand that so you won't do it to him but you do it to all the women and you don't understand, not you, because it doesn't matter, that your audience don't understand how this is hypocritical. <laughs> Girl, I'm waiting for them to start so I can shut up. Girl, they're stressed. I know what, I know what is happening behind the scenes in my mind. I know these men are stressed. These men, these <laughs> These are not stress. They, they, uh, Lace Front is probably at, on Coconut Phone saying, where's that message? Where's that one message where you told her you don't want children? Girl, where is it? I can't find it. <laughs> they are stressed. Y'all have 24 hours to have discovered what you need to discover. Right now, ain't nobody got time for those. Ain't nobody got time for this. Y'all should have y'all should have called me over. Let me defend. Cause my I have a very strong defense for um coconut for the public, not law. This is nothing I do on here is legal advice. I'm talking about in the court of public opinion. I have a defense. I, the defense is very simply everyone else is dumb for thinking that this man could have provided them any kind of value at all when it comes to dating. And if you believe that, that's completely on you. And he should take no accountability at all for you projecting onto him anything regarding alpha, leader, or any of that. That tells me you have having a life for real, for real. I'll give you guys a fucking example. I remember one time. I was a team leader on a, on a, on a takedown, right? On a, on a fucking house. And one of the agents fucked up. They didn't do something properly, right? Instead of shitting on him in front of everybody, right, and making him look crazy, I said, hey, can I talk to you for a second? I pulled him to the side and I told him, hey, man, don't do that. Do X, Y, Z instead. He's a new agent. Why am I going to fucking chew him out in front of everybody? But see, that's just a life skill that you learn from being a real individual and like working a real job and dealing with people normally. You don't ever shit on people publicly. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that, right? Obviously, when we're on the internet here and you guys call in and ask your questions, cool. That's different, right? You guys are calling in and you know that you're going to get roasted sometimes publicly. But here's the beauty. It's anonymous. Nobody knows who you are. You're calling in. Yeah. It's fine, right? But when you're shitting on someone publicly, right, it just doesn't work most of the time, guys. So for you guys, I sit there. <laughs> S-H-I-T-ing on someone publicly doesn't work to change behaviors. 
and they just drag women all across the screen. And when they when they're confronted with this, they're talking about oh they're attempting to hold them accountable and change behaviors and highlight to them all kinds of foolishness. That same thing does not apply to him. In truth. Maybe watching him get dragged, like there's no way his face can look sadder than it does now. So I can't imagine the emotion it would invoke in me to see this man be any sadder than him. <laughs> Bro, we have our conversations behind the scenes, trust me. There's a big, why do you think he's going to the gym and he's been doing speech therapy? We talked about this shit. Go! Now, why do you think he has been going to the gym and doing speech therapy? <laughs> oh, wait, how long is how long has Coconut been going to this gym? Girl, how long has Coconut been going to the? <laughs> ah, got period, a period. <laughs> mm. Men are because let me be a guy who invested in anything about them. What class action lawsuit reimbursed me on the ground of false advertise? Period. <laughs> Good. Look, Lace Front is telling y'all that he is the one leading the class, that he is the business person, that he is the leader, that he is the alpha, and the other one is the project. That's, that's literally what he's saying. He's saying the other one is the project. Like, he is working on him to make him a better man. And if he can make um, if he can make this one, if he can make Coconut a better man, then he can also make you a better man. If Coconut can do it, every other man can do it, essentially. Men are, thank you. These people are annoying. <clears throat> talk show hosts don't know how to talk. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is wild. How you gonna have a podcast and can't talk? How you gonna have a podcast and... Oh, this is actually a nice picture. I actually like this picture. This is the one compliment I will give. I will... So let's go through them. Let's go through what I like about this picture. <laughs> Girl, well, who is this? Who is at the front? Yeah, yeah, who is at the front? <laughs> who is this man at the front? Because it cannot be Lace Front. This ain't Lace Front. I don't know who it is. What is it? Yeah, what is this? Yeah, let me. <laughs> Wait, I need to do this, y'all. Wait, give me, give me a second. <laughs> y'all, y'all, <laughs> a whole model, y'all, period, Grand Theft Auto, I actually do like the Grand Theft Auto thing for being in Miami, I think that was a, a like, actually, Co Coconut says, I'm gonna give you face, 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 yeah, the face card did decline, my God. But period, you better give face. The category is face. 
I cannot. Let me save this. Absolutely saving that. They're really not coming on, are they? <laughs> hey, I said, not today, Walter, not today. <laughs> uh, All right, so... You know, people can say, well, oh, first was, oh, his speech still sucks. But, bro, watch the podcast from four years ago, and you won't understand nothing this nigga's saying. That's a fact. That was terrible. You know? Hey, man, we live and we learn, you know? Yeah. It's, uh, so, it is what it is, man. I, I've always thought that was very weird and goofy that some of y'all be in the chest saying, hold him accountable, Myron. Yeah, I already did. Um, the, Watch this podcast a year ago, and you wouldn't know what this man is talking about. Um, Go, why are you on a podcast with you? Why he? Why is he on a podcast with you? If you, if you don't know what this man talking about half the time, why? You, like I don't know. <laughs> Cause these people don't like each other. You're not about to convince me they like each other. AI art work not helping coconut is wild. <laughs> <laughs> and we are live or in this case i should say i am live guys today we are going to be exposing the truth and it's over let's get into it let's go i've not been this excited in a while i'm like kind of excited i am kind of excited <laughs> I just realized how this appeals to the lowest form of sort of masculinity in my mind. All these lights and money and car and chain and like um, building and like, I don't know. It just, it, it feels like it is appealing to a very, I mean, obviously capitalism is the centerpiece, but it feels like, um, what do you call this? Like fight <laughs> wealth porn. Um, and the fact that this is the appeal is wild. All right, let's get into it. Me today, guys, because we got a lot to talk about. We got receipts upon receipts upon receipts. And uh, Fresh is not going to be involved in today's show, guys. Um, obviously, as you guys know, there's some legal stuff that's going to be going on in the background. Um, and quite frankly, he didn't really want to do this, but I said, you know what? Nah, we got to come out with the truth because at some point enough is enough. Right. And, um, this girl's been running around going on a bunch of different podcasts, trying to smear his name, the brand's name, etc. So it is what it is. It's over for you days years. I should say Jin Chen, cause I know your real name by the way. And, and I know she's watching right now. And, um, we honestly like the chickens have come to roost because, we weren't going to come out with this. We're going to keep this professional and, you know, let this play out in the legal world, et cetera. But I'm not fresh. I'm not Walter. I'm my own man, and you're coming at both of us, so it's over for you. And I'm going to come with the facts today, okay? Um, he does recognize if any legal liability comes from this, it wouldn't just apply to him. Like, he would be implicating his business partner, who he has relationships with, a relationship with and who communicate to him what he is going to be using. The only way you have anything on her would be if you got it from Coconut. Or maybe you have another means for getting it, but you don't, like, you are not shielding him from liability. If you're, you, you better hope there's nothing illegal taking place or anything that opens you up to liability right now because it wouldn't just be for you it would be for him this is not legal advice before i get into it guys bumble.com slash fresh we're live on all the platforms right now as you guys can see we already got fourteen thousand y'all in here and we just started this bad boy right bumble.com slash fresh fit castle club.tv because if we do got to take this video down you guys are going to be able to find it on 
Rumble and also on Castle Club. Also, guys, we got our live event April 26th. If you guys want to meet us in person, make sure to come check us out over there. It's going to be right here in Miami, Miami Beach to be uh, specific. Top of the description, get in there. Tickets are, you know, very fairly priced, 100 bucks for entrance fee. If you want to do the VIP, fantastic. But um, we're trying to make it affordable so as many of you guys can come and uh, meet us in person. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be a live show. Um, and you guys have been asking us for that forever, so we're making it happen. And, yeah, my new Instagram, guys, is not Unplugged Fit. As you guys know, I got deactivated. So uh, I'm working on trying to get the original back. But, you know, if I don't, then you guys can go ahead and check me out on not Unplugged Fit over there. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, guys, all I got to say with this situation is... I've got you in my sights. This girl fucked up, man. That's all I got to say because uh, she, she shouldn't... Like I said, we didn't want to bring this stuff out, but it is what it is. So let's start with the beginning, okay? Let's just address the elephant in the room. Fresh is an idiot, okay? I had this conversation with him off air. I told him, you, you, th this girl is bad news. This is, you, you know, what the hell are you doing? Having sex with this girl, et cetera, unprotected, whatever. Let's just call a spade a spade. He made a big mistake. Big mistake, Rock. Okay, case closed. <laughs> case closed. Now, all you need to know is, is she actually pregnant and is the baby his? Because you just opened, he's an idiot. He did this without protection. I don't understand. Like, what, what, what is the problem? Wait, go, well, all right, let's continue because I don't understand what else. Is there anything else? I don't need anything else. Do y'all need anything else? I feel like, okay, we're done. Period. With this girl hanging out with her, etc. Right. But what I will do is I'm going to go outline their relationship for you guys, okay? I have dates here, et cetera, and we're going to walk through it real fast. So, number one, they were never in a serious relationship, okay? Though she might say, oh, I was in a serious relationship with him, and she goes on this podcast saying I loved him, et cetera. He was seeing other women. And you guys know that because if you saw the video clip, right, She in there she says that he was talking to other women. So she knows that, right? So they met on November 21st at El Santo, okay? Which is, uh, you can say that. Oh my God, I love this. I love this so much. You can say that because you all pointed out you can love a woman and be in a mon in a relationship with a woman without being monogamous. Because sleeping with other women in your paradigm, sleeping with other women doesn't mean anything. Oyster said a man sleeping with another woman is like shaking hands. Y'all literally, y'all make the argument that men can be in love with one woman while sleeping with other women. You cannot then use this. You literally, you literally cannot use that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me calm down. I hate these kinds of glaring contradictions. I really do. You made a platform suggesting, no, forget suggesting, explicitly stating that a man can be in a relationship and love his woman while having multiple other women. It is open on your end and closed on hers, and this can be love. You said this, so now you can't say the fact that he was sleeping with other women means he did not love the girl that he was with and he wasn't in a relationship with her. When there are videos upon videos and messages upon messages where he's saying, I love you, kissing her, buying her things, and all of that. Nope. So you failed. First assignment out of the way failed. You got an F in the class for consistency. But let's continue. Oh, if this is how this is going to go, this is going to be real bad. So they're going to going after a woman that Walter chose to simp on and lacked the discernment to tell that she wanted to finesse him. I thought they knew how to avoid these women. Not only do they know, they were teaching, they are teaching men to not go after these women. He going to get dragged. I hope this is not his angle. I, thank you, Finn. Let me know if you want to come up here. This is live. Let me know. Put some respect on Lace Fun. Per. All right, let's continue. Whew. A club here in Miami, right? Pretty much fresh trademark. Uh, they went on their first date November 26th. They had sex that night, okay? She left on November 28th for New York. As you guys know, this girl has an apartment in New York as well. She was going back and forth between here and there. Uh, and then they talked on WhatsApp on January 1st, 2024. So he saw her again, guys, right? So she left 
the 28th. And then you started talking on WhatsApp on the first. I mean, they were talking on Instagram before that, but as you guys know, we can't show those messages because first Instagram got wiped with mine. Then on December 28th to January 10th, she was in Miami, right? They spent a few days together. About half that time, she wasn't with Fresh, right? Then they didn't see each other again until March 9th, right, in Barbados. They met in Barbados and hung out in Barbados for a few days, right? They were there for approximately three days. Then she was in Miami for the rest of that period, right? So from March 9th to 24th, they spent time together here in Miami and also in Barbados. That's where she met his family, et cetera, right? Then, so what? We're talking about 20 days here that they spent, uh, even though they knew each other since November, she was in China for a period of time, New York, et cetera, come back and forth. So they've spent about, I'd say roughly 15 to 20 days together, right? Cumulatively. During the course of this time, there were a bunch of red flags that Fresh noticed that made him say, you know what? I don't know if I could take this girl seriously. Number one. He had mentioned to her that there was a guy in Las Vegas. As you guys know, we go to Las Vegas all the time to do, you know, Access Vegas, et cetera. We'll actually be there tomorrow, okay? Um, and when we were out there, a photographer had said, oh, I know her. And, for, and he didn't say anything bad. However, when Fresh mentioned to her that someone in Vegas knew her, she got really nervous and scared. And he was like, hmm, that's weird. Why would you get so nervous, right? Number two, she has three phones, Okay. Why was she going? Why did he bring her to Barbados? Why did he bring her to Barbados? They didn't just go to Barbados. Who whose family's in Barbados and why did they go there? If she wasn't Hasten. <laughs> you're muted if you're talking. If she wasn't meant to believe his words when Walter declared his pug love, then she doesn't need to believe his words when he said term period. Sin, you're muted, by the way. Three, he saw towards the end of the relationship and what made him kind of say, I don't want to deal with this girl anymore, was he saw a random... Towards the end of the what? You just said towards hey. the end... Hey. Hey, hey Thema. Can, can I say something really quickly? Because th this sounds retarded. It's like he's in a video with this woman calling her his Asian queen and professing love for her. And you're trying to prove that he wasn't serious about her. Why were you having unprotected sex with a woman you're not serious about? Why were you telling her you love her? Why were you talking about blazing babies? Why was she out in Barbados meeting your family? If you're not seeing it. So basically there are such, such, such big simps that they'll fly women that they're not even, that they're literally not even serious about. You will fly a woman, just a random woman to your home country and stay there. You, you flying women out on trips that you're not serious about. Right. But you hear how dumb this is. He just said towards the end of the relationship, <laughs> like he just said towards the end of the relationship. <laughs> This is not going to go well for him. But let me know when to pause at any point. And didn't their attorney tell them not to make any statements or talk about this? So why is he online trying to disprove this woman talking about it's over for her when your attorney already told you to shut your dumb ass up? Because they're not like these people are so ego driven and they literally like the truth is he did. Myron opened up the video by expressing all we need to hear. He did it. So all we need to know now, is she pregnant and is it his? We don't need to hear anything else, right? So listening to him going back and forth right now is absolutely pointless. It is so completely pointless that like no one is trying to hear that, but it's, I'm only listening to it because it's funny. Like I think this is absolutely funny. Talking about red flag. He saw all them red flags and continue to sleep with her without a condom. Right. I feel like he's really just making it worse. I feel like anything that they say is just going to make them look dumber. Because at the end of the day, they can sit there and change it to, we come on here to tell you how to get laid. Because I, it, it didn't miss me that he tried to say, oh, well, we come on here to tell you how to get laid by these women. No, you have a very specific platform. And I know for a fact that I've heard them on their platform talking about their teaching men how to not simp, 
how to not get finesse, how to avoid these women who will come after you to get a paycheck for child support. Now, I don't even watch their podcast, but if I know they said that, then obviously that is what you are doing. So don't make it seem like you're just teaching these men how to go get laid. They don't need to be taught how to go get laid. Sex is very easy to get. What you are teaching them to do is something that you don't know how to do. It does not matter how he pitches it, no matter what they say, which they're violating what their attorney said, because if they just be silent on this, they will lose more. They have more to lose with their silence in terms of their brand than gaining. So they're doing it so that they can save their brand. But while they're doing it, they just sound stupid. The reality is the biggest question is no matter how wrong she is, because she could be 100% wrong. She could be a liar. She could be trying to finesse them. How did she get in proximity to you to be able to finesse you? How yeah. did that happen when you said that you have the discernment to be able to spot these women? So how yeah. would how does she even get into your purview? Yeah, no, like that's literally it. Like all that talking, this since um, Patreon, by the way, is um, not just put it up. Why does he care about Red Flag if they weren't serious or working towards something bright? That, like he called it a relationship in the first like five seconds of talking. If the woman was fluid, then the pug is <laughs> stop. <laughs> With four numbers unsaved on one of her phones. Okay. Uh, when they came back from Barbados, they were stopped by customs. She, they interviewed her for two hours, guys, okay? When she was being held at customs. You guys know I used to work uh, for Immigration Customs Enforcement as an investigator for Homeland Security Investigations. And no, normally when they detain you at the airport like that, something is going on. And they detained her for two hours and she showed pictures of her and fresh together, et cetera. More than likely what I'm suspecting, I don't know this for a fact, but for them to detain her for two hours. Remember, guys, she's a foreign national. She's Chinese. She's here on a visitor visa, which she's admitted on other podcasts, by the way, which is typically a B1, B2 visa. They probably think that she's here working illegally or maybe doing some kind of sex work, which we're going to get into that as well, okay? We don't know for a fact, but for them to hold you at the border like that tells me something, right? Then. After Fresh cut the relationship off with her, she finally admitted that she had sugar daddies in the past. But but see, even but see, even him talking about if she was here to do sex work again, that just makes you look retarded because you were sitting up doing an interview on somebody else's podcast talking about how you wouldn't even allow a woman to have sexy pictures on Instagram. So yep. how did a sex worker get into your purview to where she can finesse you? Unless you just dumb and you lack discernment. How would that happen? Yeah. And this strong implication, if she's not, I would be suing. But, like, none of this matters. And you are right, Sin, in that even if she were all these things and all of this did happen, it only highlights how dumb you are. <laughs> like, it just highlights how dumb Coconut is for falling for this. How did she trick you? Girl, this is not doing what... Because <laughs> what they're doing is smearing her character, right? Like, they're dragging her. It doesn't matter. That is not... Y'all should have known. The, the worse you make her look, the worse you make her look is the worse you become. Because you are just as idiotic as she is obviously a bad person. So if you make her a bad person, if you paint her to be like obviously um, a three or whatever y'all want to call these women nowadays, if you say she's an Instagram this or an Instagram that, it just makes him look a lot worse. I don't know if you know that. Like, I don't know if they know that. Like, what? Right? And she didn't, she, she, and we'll show an Instagram picture right now, actually, real fast, uh, of when she took off. So she goes, after first told her, hey, I don't want to be with you anymore. I don't intend on marrying you. And, um, you know, I'm not going to get you an apartment because mind you, this all started guys because she wanted an apartment and first said no. Right. And she put drops it. So she leaves abruptly and she drops the Instagram story saying, bye, going to find a better life. Right. And she's getting on a plane to go back to New York. And she's been in New York since. Right. She left on her about, I want to say March 26th. I think is the day that she left. March and then hold on. He, he's saying that they had this dialogue. Okay. This woman showed text message dialogue between herself and pug face. So where is the text messages to show that he told this woman, he wasn't going to buy her an apartment. He didn't want to um, have a child with her. He wasn't going to get her pregnant. Where is the receipts to counter her receipts? Because she's she got a, a recording for us. She showed us a bunch of text messages. She showed her the written out post that she made. Where is his receipts to combat this and to substantiate what this woman, what Walter allegedly told this woman? Where are your receipts, sir? Not only where is the receipt, because yes, where is the receipt? But as a student of law, 
He just confirmed that she most likely was in New York, which is a one-party consent state. So what that lawyer was talking about previously would not apply if she was, in fact, in New York while she was recording. <laughs> a prr- a period. A period. You better give her a defense. You better give her the defense she need. The lack of, uh, of allegedly, he is not saying as well. Him doing this was a huge mistake. Oh, I, I love that he is doing that. The, the hubris is, look. Oh, my God. Themis, what is their chat saying? Um, oh, it's moving too quickly. You haters ate up three or four lies. <laughs> Um, the, so let me see, let me see, Ling Ling, show the DNA test, I don't know, she's going to cook fresh, is there someone said she's going to cook fresh, um, in court for child support, thanks for helping, Fresh Mary. <laughs> so they get back, so the timeline again, November 21st they meet, okay, uh, they hang out again, uh, December 28th to January 10th for a period of time, then from March 9th to the 24th. He basically breaks up with her a day or two after they get back, uh, after um, they're back in Barbados here in Miami. Says, hey, I don't want to get you the apartment. I don't, I don't want to marry you. I don't think this is going to work out like long term because she wanted a serious relationship. So she gets on a plane and leaves on the 26th, right? Mind you, well, actually, you know, we're going to talk about that later on. We're going to talk about the pregnancy and that in a whole other chapter. We got a couple chapters on this thing. But I just wanted to give you guys the relationship, okay? So that's how they met. That's how long they've hung out with each other, known each other. Though they've known each other since November, cumulatively speaking, okay, they only spent roughly between 15 to 20 days actually hanging out with each other and speaking to each other. And during the course of them meeting and hanging out with each other, first is vetting her. He's testing her, he's asking her questions, et cetera. And she failed the test, right? She failed the test. These are a couple of the red flags that he noticed while he was hanging out with her in how she failed the test and you did that with her without a protection and flew her to Barbados to meet your family. Y'all, y'all can like shrink this again. The As bad as you make her, coconut seems more idiotic. <laughs> Coconut's mental capacity is linked to how obviously bad a person you make her to be. They go hand in hand. Person that made him say, I can't commit to this girl, I can't take this girl seriously. Mind you, he was doing this thing he had other women as well, which is something that she was also angry about during this whole situation. So there we go. Now that we have an idea of the relationship, let's get into the other elephant in the room, okay? We talked about the first elephant in the room with the relationship and first being an idiot, which we, he is, let's just be honest here, he made a big fucking mistake. And it is what it is, you know, guys make mistakes, no one is perfect, but this one was a big one. And we gotta take accountability for that, he fucked up here, right? So as you guys know, she's been running around. She went on Abba and Preach's uh, pod, right? And I'm not surprised. You know, Abba and Preach have been making videos on us for years now at this point. They've made somewhere between 30 to 40 videos on us, uh, talking shit, trying to attack our character, et cetera. And other podcasts as well she's went on, you know, talking about this story, et cetera. She's essentially been doing a press run the past few days ever since she leaked this phone call and text messages, right? And I'm going to show you guys a clip. One of the things she's been doing is saying that she is not a sex worker, right? So let's go ahead and uh, play the two clips where she says this. Here's from one podcast, which I will not name. They're accusing me for being asco and be on this kind of website just use a brand if i'm miss asia and i'm a former bodybuilder why would i put myself on the internet on yeah, a it doesn't make sense. website that is no, it doesn't make sense. which even uh, one thing that i and i didn't okay so he says yeah doesn't make sense i don't believe it yeah you're not now let's go ahead and play uh our favorite <laughs> youtubers here because and, and it's interesting because these guys were so quick to try to use this as content to make us look bad. They didn't properly vet this girl, but it's okay. I'm going to do it for them. You know, because since they want to bring this girl on a platform or et cetera, but they don't know the real Daisy Chen. They don't know Jin Chen, but I know Jin Chen. And I'm going to... She a sex worker. Okay, what about it? Like, get to a... Let me speed this up some more. Make you guys very familiar with her as well. We're all going to know Jin Chen when this is done. Let's play their clip now. That I would interview the woman in question at the heart of this whole thing. She provided me a bunch of screenshots, uh, screen recordings, and a bunch of different things. And I think it answered a lot of the questions that would seem to be unanswered before. Things like whether or not she's a supporter. She isn't. What was the time? Okay. <laughs> Abba? You stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to show it right now. So she, let's, let's uh, go ahead and she says she's not a sex worker. She's not a escort. Okay. What's this? In this photo that you guys can see here, we can see Jin Chen with, meeting up with a potential client. Okay. I'm not going to say where this was. But what I'm about to show you guys is all exclusive stuff that no one else has. Okay. But it's an anonymous source. Okay. So this is a. So y'all mad that Abin Preach didn't vet a woman that your your partner, business partner, was dating. 
and brought home to the family and was engaging in intercourse with without protection. And y'all are worried about whether or not Abba and Preach vetted this woman properly. How are you caring about vetting from Abba and Preach and not from your partner who was engaging this with, the, with this woman without protection? How does this make sense? Girl, who should be vetting? <laughs> it's not Abba and Preach's job to vet this woman. It's the one... <laughs> Yeah, I can prove that she's a sex worker, but your partner was dating her. Again, Sin, you can jump in. And, and, not, and not and not only was his partner dating her, he was having raw sex with a not with a known sex worker. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't see how this could even make them look remotely good. You just look dumb. You already know if this woman is accused, it's just by whether she's pregnant or not is a moot point, but by virtue of the fact that she can accuse you of being her baby daddy, and there are text messages that she showed indicating that you were indeed having raw sex with her, and now you're all out here to prove that she was a sex worker, how does that make you look smart? Right. <laughs> like, yeah, anyway, her being a sex worker is irrelevant. Walter got finessed. If, if if she's a sex worker, Walter got finessed by a sex worker. What about like <laughs> a photo for me up with a guy? And it gets better. We got video on audio. Run the clip. I've got you in my sights. I can on the podcast right there. But wait, there's more. There's more because I, see, she's been running around saying that she's not an escort, etc. No, I don't do this, blah blah. I mean, I'll let you guys decide what you think after seeing that. Okay. I, yo, if this is fake, I I hope she sues them. Because I don't know if it's fake or not. But even if it's not, like, putting this out there, I might have cut this off. I don't know. Maybe I have to go back. And, but this don't seem real to me. But even if it's real, this doesn't mean anything in terms of, like, okay, she does that in your mind. I don't know if it's true. What about it? It just means you're an idiot. Like relevance. We're going to keep going. There's more. I can end it right there. But let's go. Let's keep going. So obviously you guys can see her. That sounds like negotiating for something. I don't know what particularly, right? But I think we all know kind of what it may or may not be, right? So she's also talked about how she's a good person and her character, etc. We got some more, guys. So I have here a Chinese police report. You guys are probably wondering, what the hell was this? Guys, this is a police report where she basically stole money from an individual. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But here, here's here's my thing. Listen, regard. Okay, so now you've proven that she's an escort and a sex worker. Your boy was still sitting in a video professing love for her and calling her his Asian queen. So it's like <laughs> nothing that you can say is going to change the fact that he was you, decorate her however you want to. He was still simping for her. He was still flying her out. So not only do he lack the discernment to be able to tell when a woman is a sex worker, because clearly you don't know how to tell when a woman is a sex worker, you were simping hardcore on her. You still were. No matter what type of woman you paint her out to be, you weren't able to tell. You had no discernment. You should not be teaching men how to do anything with women yeah. when you lack the discernment to even tell what type of woman a woman is. Right. Oh, girl, they are dragging the chat. Their chat is like, anyone else feel like they're being set up? Yep. And translate this for me. You guys would know. I play over what? That someone had that very specific video is wild, right? But 
maybe it's real, maybe it's not. If I were him, I would just assume this is fake and it's a setup. But we'll see. That's right, and I have a buddy. I call him the China Man. And uh, he went ahead and kindly translated this police report for us. And we have it for y'all here. Okay? At about 1940 on the evening of August 27, 2018, the report came to the police station to report that he met with the Chinese woman at about 12 o'clock noon on August 27, 2018 at lane 28 of Dazza Road in exchange 6,000 yuan for A70 with this woman. So basically, he wanted her to give him cash, right? At around uh, 445 on August 27, 2018, the woman hailed a car from Diddy Taxi and asked, and then asked the reporter for 6,000 RMB. And then the reporter gave 6,000 RMB to the woman, and the two got in the car. Soon after, she claimed that she needed to get money from China Construction Bank, the name of the bank, and asked to stop at the China Construction Bank on Yongjia Road, Zuish District, Shanghai. But the woman did not return 10 minutes after getting out the car, and the reporter sent a message to the woman, but she replied she didn't want to meet the reporter. The reporter felt that he had been defrauded, so he reported the case. So this woman takes this guy's money and runs off with it, right? One of the people that she, uh, one of her clients, right? So what does that say about her character? And you guys might be wondering, Mario, do you got proof? Oh, I do got proof, actually. I got video. Here she is, taking the dude's money and doing what she's about to do. Oh. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I can end it there. I can end it there, can I? But guess what? I've got you in my sights. There's more. Let's keep going. The show goes on. The show goes on. We're going all the way today, baby. We're going all the way, because guess what? I'm fucking Leonardo DiCaprio on this bitch. The show goes on. So there's all of this out there on her with pictures and stuff. And you're telling me he didn't know how to look this up. Like this does not do, like this does not do any of what they think it does. It just shows how idiotic these men are. And that's why I'm saying he's dumb. Cause it's like, what is your end goal with making these live streams? Because if you're coming out to tell the truth about this woman, it's going to raise the question of why didn't you find out all this information before you flew her out to meet your family. And before you set your dumb ass in a video talking about, she's your agent queen and how much you love her. <laughs> why didn't you find out all this before? <laughs> Relevance, your honor. <laughs> I just, I, 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 uh. I They're gonna need a fucking wrecking ball to take me out of here. Let's fucking go, all right? So here, we have her ID, right? Here she is. We obviously blurted out personal information so that we wouldn't dox her. But to show you guys that we know what we're talking about here, we actually have her Jin Chen. That's your real name, by the way, Jin Chen. It's not Daisy. You run around calling yourself Daisy Chen, but you're really Jin Chen, okay? And we found out that you got fired from your job, okay? Here's where you used to work for, right? For a marketing company. You were a marketing manager, Daisy. Or should I say Jin Chen? And we have the documents to show that you got fired. And why you got fired? Again, this is all in Chinese. But guess what? My boy, we rise once again, aka China Man, the guy that I put Overwatch with and we raged together when we destroyed these scrubs. He went ahead and translated for you guys. Once again, shout out to China Man. Oh, we got the official documents. Shout out to we rise. He's on, he's on the line. Sorry, I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to let a big chunk go. She got fired. Okay. She, she's a sex worker. She got fired. You show a picture, a video of her throwing money in the air and you somehow believe it is someone else's money without proof that it's someone else's money that she was throwing. Like, I'm so confused. Like, I don't know what this is. Like, this seems like mudslinging and dirtying the, the like messing up the conversation enough so that we miss the point that your partner is out here sleeping with this woman without protection and potentially have her pregnant. Like that's, unless you're going to say that didn't happen, girl, none of this is important. None of this is important. Right. And that's the, the thing that I'm saying is remember how he was cussing out the chat box in the other video talking about they lack comprehension skills and they're slow, but he's too slow to realize that nothing that he says is going to do anything but make this man look bad because at the end of the day, it goes against your brand. You're supposed to be smarter than this. You're supposed to have, they're supposed to have the keen eye to spot these women from a mile away to the extent that they're teaching other men how to avoid them. So it's like nothing that you're nothing that you say is going to disprove the fact that y'all are obviously dumb you can't tell these different women you can't bet yourself you lack discernment and therefore you shouldn't be teaching it anybody he's too yeah. slow to realize that apparently as well um but here it is here's why she got fired guys okay Ms. Chenjing, you have been working at Shanghai B-Main Performance Agency Co. since July 2nd, 2018, and your current job is a business assistant. The three-year labor contract signed between you and the company on July 2nd, 2018 shall be terminated August 3rd, 2018, and the employment relationship shall be terminated at the same time due to the following circumstances. Hmm. What else was going on in 2018 when she got fired from her job around this time? Oh, she was stealing money and negotiating for fun with people in, uh, in rooms. That we showed video of earlier. Oh, interesting. So then, so then, with that said, since she was stealing money, did Walker willingly get with a scammer, or did he just not know she was a scammer? Right. 
Like, again. Because if she's stealing money, then she's a thief and a liar and a scam artist and a prostitute and a sex worker and a high paid escort. Okay, cool, fine. Why is it that Walter couldn't tell that? The worse she becomes, the dumber he is. <laughs> the worse you it, make it, her exactly. the dumber he is. Exactly, but he's not able to connect the dots, and it sounds like his chat box might be able to, but he's just not able to. That's why I'm saying I don't believe that this dude was an agent for the FBI. He could have worked for the FBI as a janitor, but last I checked, the um, FBI recruits based on skills, abilities, and intellect, and he doesn't seem to possess it. Because if he can't even tell that the more that he demonizes this woman, the worse Walter looks for getting with her, then how would he even, how would he make it an FBI? They please tell me they fired him, yeah, and that's why yo, he no longer works with them because he's he's not, he seems too dumb to be working for the FBI. As what somebody sweeping him up in the floors every night? <laughs> Girl, they are dragging the chat is dragging them. I mean, they obviously I can't see the chat because I'm on my phone. <laughs> I'm on oh, my yeah, phone, no, no, so no, it's no, really tiny. Fine. I can't even see their chat. They're um, there's some of them that are calling her all kinds of names, but I would expect that. But when it comes to Fresh, they're dragging him. And mind you, and, and then another thing that this goes against, this is a preference. This is like a foreign Asian woman. So this is literally like a passport bro topic. This dude went to a to China to get a foreign woman who was here on a visa. So clearly she's not a citizen. Why are you having these issues with a with a non-black woman after you done set up and said you don't dabble in the dark, you don't deal with night riders, black women are ghetto and annoying, but now you have to demonize this white Asian because she finessed you because you were too dumb to prevent her from getting a drop on you? Right. She said, oh, I don't care about money. I just want to hold fresh accountable, whatever the hell. Let's run the clip from our guy, Destiny, real quick, where she went ahead and had a whole conversation with him. I don't care about the money. I like this lifestyle. By the United States law, he has to pay for the child support. How much money do you think a man should make for it? Yeah, I told him a million dollars. Walter apologized for everything and campaign and everything. Wouldn't you want to be involved in like your child's life? But why would you care about that? Shouldn't the priority be to like build a healthy life for your future child? Shouldn't that be the focus? Okay. You don't care. You're not caring. The child right now is just a money ticket for you. You're not caring at all about the child. Why are you leaving? What is the money? What is the, money? What is the child's money? You, you were talking about earlier. So you're you? I don't want to talk to you. Pause. Um, Destiny's gonna take a break. He doesn't want to. She doesn't want to talk to him because it's exposing the truth. You say in one sentence, I don't care about the money. Then you're saying, oh yeah, a man's got to make a million dollars a year, right? Guys, this woman is a predator. She's obviously coming is coming and trying to use guys, etc. And here's the thing, right? Like I said before, I fresh fucked up, right? He made a mistake. You shouldn't have messed with this girl in the first place. This girl's a predator, all right? But this is what happens a lot of times when you're a guy, you got some money, you got some status, etc. Girls will try to use you, right? Thank God. He saw the red flags and cut it off when he did. Obviously, he didn't cut it off fast enough, but this girl had intentions, right? Nefarious intentions. So I just want to ask you guys one thing, right? So obviously, we went through who this woman is, Daisy Chen, aka her real name. I'm gonna call her Jen for the rest of the show. Jin Chen. Okay, Jen, we know who you really are now. You're involved with Escorting, potentially, right? Allegedly, when well, we saw the video, right? We know that you stole money from somebody, ran away with it, basically robbed the guy. We know that you can't hold a job. You got fired from stealing money from that company as well. Having other corporations, etc. So let me ask y'all. Someone like this that has this kind of character. Do you think they're going to be honest? I mean, let, let's go through it real quick. So on March 24th, just so you guys know, right? When they got back, when they, uh, towards the end, she did a pregnancy test, guys. And first, I didn't want to mention this on the last show, but I'm going to mention it. Came back negative, okay? He saw it and his mom saw it. She did a pregnancy test on the 24th, came back negative, right? Then a week later, she calls Fresh to say, oh, I'm pregnant. And she records the phone call. Okay, trying to get a response. Oh, what are you gonna do to me, etc. You know what? We can play the clip right now. Let's play it real quick. Can we pull it up real fast on the side, guys. Uh, the phone call that she had with, with Fresh. Let's pull that up real quick, right? So she calls him and tries to get a response out of him. And first, obviously, stays calm, etc. And the thing I also want you guys to know is that there was an agreement between him and her that they weren't gonna have kids. He told her he didn't want kids, and she agreed to that. Okay, and I have proof of that right here, right now. Roll the clip from. Oh, this proof I want to see. I want to see this proof. Because if this proof does not include a vasectomy and a condom, ain't nobody got time for it. <laughs> okay, but, but first of all, you can have a false negative pregnancy test. My sister had one, and she still has a son that she had, but her pregnancy test was false initially. You can have a false negative. You can't have a false positive pregnancy test. But the reality of it is, is why is he sitting up in a dialogue with a sex worker about having kids? Right. Right. But they weren't together. So many words to say, not, period. Like, period. From, uh, from our idiots over there in Canada. So this is uh, when Abba went ahead and interviewed her, right? So first, this is him uh, asking her about uh, them being monogamous, if I'm not mistaken, right? All right. I don't wanna. Um, then I ask her, well, why do you not want to be intense about monogamy, but you are rushing to have a kid? 
I asked him two questions. A, that's a, that's a good question. I, I'm not, these morons can't even spell. They were in such a rush to get this video out and try to make us look crazy that they couldn't even spell. That just goes to show how thirsty these clowns are for attention, bro. Dudes went and did a video immediately and shot it. Just shot it. Oh, God, we got to make content. Oh! That's how we preach anytime something happens. We literally pay these bums bills, man. Let's go ahead. Let's run a clip. I'm not softballing. Oh, no, I imagine. No, I'm, I'm, she's I'm, like, I don't want to be too intense and like rush. Like, I'm not going to be soft, but I'm accepting this. But, like, like, but you want to have a baby with him. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand because um, I just felt like I'm not, I just feel like I'm not that type of girl that I have to be with someone for years to get married. Or if, if I like someone, I can have a kid with him for like a week. Like, it's not, it doesn't matter. It's the time, it doesn't matter. I was with someone for nine months. He really wanted to marry me. He's American. And I didn't want that. I ended that. When I when I met Walter, I just felt like, wow, there's so much chemistry. What? I mean, I, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to talk to him. Look, even the window liquor's confused. Even he's like, uh -huh. no, not the even for him. It doesn't make sense. And then he's like, why are we doing this video? But again, the thirst for them to make content on us is so fucking strong that they will go ahead and compromise themselves and interview a criminal, which I prove it to you guys, that's pretty much on the run from China in the US, okay, doing a bunch of stupid shit. They will interview her for views. And these guys preach integrity. Hilarious. Hilarious. Continue on. Girl that can, I'm not the type of girl that's gonna have to, that can you know, have to wait for a long time before I marry someone. Huh? Look, his brain is fine. that? I mean, there's plenty of people who meet their husbands for the first time. That's how his brain That's pretty brain right now. Like, ugh. keep going. Okay, so right. but here's it. Listen, how, who are you to sit up and try to shame somebody based on how quickly they'll have a baby? But you was having unprotected sex with her just as quickly, though. Period. You was flying her to a to another country just as quickly, though. You were sitting your dumbass up in a video calling her your Asian queen, talking about how you love her. But let me guess, that was AI too. So AI put him in a car with her, where he's calling her his Asian queen. Mm-hmm. Yep. And they're mad they're interv interviewing her when she wasn't charged with anything. Meanwhile, they're interviewing Andrew Tate and defending Andrew Tate, who was in fact charged with something, but they're talking about platform integrity and who you bring on. Y'all had Charleston White on there talking about aring women. We're not about to do that. Here, I'm going to prove to you guys that Fresh not only didn't want to have kids, she knew that. And she agreed with him. She won't, might not admit this, but let's go ahead, let's play. So I'm going to ask her this question, right? Same as saying, really wants to then then why was Fresh talking about blazing babies then? Or is he just going to completely ignore the text messages and say that the text messages and the recorded calls are AI? Now, I do get that you can fake text messages, but it doesn't look like she faked them. And that wasn't from a text message. That looks like it was actually from WhatsApp. And I don't know if you can fake WhatsApp me messages, although you can, you, you can kind of edit out text messages to make it appear a certain way. I don't know if you can do that with WhatsApp. But so is he going to just completely disregard the text messages where he was sitting up there talking about Blasian babies with this woman? The way I, not only that, not only that, because yes, that's true. If you don't want to have a child, keep your fluids to yourself. What do you mean? <laughs> like, I'm so confused. I'm so, we had an agreement. We had a what? You, you had an agreement not to have a child, but you keep it. All right, girl, because that makes a lot of sense. And he made this agreement with a scam and sex worker that he just couldn't tell what the scam and sex worker. <laughs> Wants to have a child? Why didn't you get a big verbal? Con bro, they were fucking stupid over there, in Canada, bro. You stupid. Fucking I'm stupid. a bitch or idiots. Like yo, they were so thirsty to get this video. They didn't do a spell check. They didn't do a grammar check. They, they no proofreading. They just wanted to get this video out as fast as they could because that's all these guys do is make hit pieces on us. We've been doing this for the better part of three to four years, bro. These guys are thirsty for content. It's hilarious. We pay y'all bills. You guys are our sons. You guys are literally our sons. You guys talk about us every chance you get. Okay? And Abba, you're a coward and you know I challenge you to a boxing match. You don't want to do it because you know what the hell's gonna happen. You're a coward. You know this. But you're gonna go ahead and put out these rest videos, interviewing a criminal, giving her a platform, letting her tell you all these lies. You're over here believing her like she's not a sex worker. And I showed you evidence to prove that she why this man so angry and want to fight everyone? He's like, I want to fight Ethan. I want to fight Abba. Because you're dumb and you can't use your brain doesn't mean everyone has to be as subhuman as you to want to get into a physical altercation. Not everyone is from whatever street you're from. No one wants to fight you, sir. I just want to know why his boy was with a sex worker. Because it kind of <laughs> sounds like his teacher may, may you watch your, Walter should be sitting in an audience so he can learn rather than sitting up giving advice. You're not yeah. in that position. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know how to tell a good woman from a sex worker. You clearly thought this woman was worthy of meeting your family, worthy of moving into your home, all within a five-month period. Within yeah. five months, this dude did all this with this woman that's now a criminal, a liar, and a sex worker, and everything else they can tell her. 
But that caller, but that didn't stop him from sending in that video professing love to her. It didn't stop him from taking her to meet his family. So clearly he must have had some indication that this was a woman that he wanted to build a life with because you flew her out to meet the family. And I think that's what Aben Preach meant when he said in the black community, it means right. something when you introduce somebody to your parents, to your family. Because I know yeah. I ain't just inter introducing anybody to my family. A person ain't yeah. going to even know I have a family unless I'm serious about them or I see a future with them. Yeah, that's what that dude was doing in five months. But it wasn't yeah. serious because he'll see another other women. Doesn't matter what other women he was seeing, he was still planning a life with this woman. And those text messages and that recording, because they act like you can't tell if a recording is AI or authentic. You can tell if a recording is via AI or it's a regular phone call that's being recorded. And a dude yeah. who supposedly works for the FBI should know that. You worked for the FBI in the past, but you don't think that you can tell if a video mm. is AI versus or a recording as AI versus an actual phone call. So they can just pull up your cell phone records, look at the time on that recording and see with where your cell phone was pinging from at the same time. So they can just <laughs> do that to find out if this is AI or if you <laughs> was actually talking to that woman during the same time of that recording. Next, she going she to be applying of the Chinese government. <laughs> Period. Like, I don't, these people are like, this is kind of idiotic to me. Like, very idiotic. Like, dragging her publicly but not addressing anything as well and turning this into a fight between you and Abba and Preach is, like, disgusting. We don't care. Get to the point. Did your, Was your friend an idiot? You admit yes. Did he do what she said he did? Yeah. So, I don't know what all of this is. Right. And, and I don't think anybody really cares about her character. I don't think they want to know what type of woman she is. I think they want to know how your dude got caught up with her. Because if she's yeah. all of this, then we need to know how did he get caught up with her if he is supposed to be teaching other men how to not get caught up by these very same women. So he can deflect as much as he want to. He can scapegoat this woman. Okay, but we, st we still want to know, because first of all, we don't believe you. But even if we did, we would still want to know how your boy got caught up with this woman. Maybe she should do a class on how to scam these men. <laughs> she is. Okay, so what does this prove? I'm going to preach, claim integrity, but they don't have any. I wonder if they're going to make an apology video after this. No, nope. probably not. They never do. That's what they do. They just lie on people, give bottom feeder reaction content. It's fine, though, because we're giving a kill shot for you and her. Both y'all are incredible. Let's keep going. No, because uh, I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me, but then, okay. Okay, but at least at least he's not stupid that if he does this to me, I'm gonna get pregnant. I think it's just uh, misunderstood. Maybe he was just being in, in, irresponsible. Why for me, he's serious. So they ask her again. And, that point word and, and see, look, can you pause it? Can you pause it? See, because these dusty bandits think that they can run around and tell everybody, oh, she got pregnant, she got pregnant. It don't work like that in other people's community. She's Chinese, so she knows the men in her community does not have this dusty narrative when they get a woman pregnant, trying to make it appear that it's the woman's fault. No, you got her pregnant. If you didn't want to have no kids, why would you bust it off in her? Why? Exactly. That's like it. that dusty That's narrative it. doesn't work outside the black community. What she's saying is a valid point. That Asian woman is asking the same question that black women should be asking and that they would be asking if they weren't being brainwashed by black men. If you didn't want any kids, why were you having unprotected sex and putting your bodily fluids inside that woman's body if you did not want a kid? Because that's what you do to get a kid. That's exactly yep. what you do when you want to have a kid. So if you don't want to have a kid, why are you doing the exact thing that it takes to impregnate her? This woman did not get pregnant. He impregnated her. And they yep. think their dusty narrative works in everybody else's community, but it doesn't. That Asian woman is going to throw that in your face because her man ain't sitting their dumb asses up on the internet acting like they ain't getting women pregnant. They know they have to impregnate the woman for her to get pregnant. Period. I have nothing else to add. Fashion for this Thursday for content. What if they're paying her for the plot for public city or entertainment because ain't nobody this dumb? Yeah, I wouldn't even put that past them. 
But that would mean Walter or Coconut is willing to be dragged and humiliated, which I don't put that past him either. Because his friend is calling him all kind of dumb right now. <laughs> Go back to the You're gonna play all the way on I'm not even gonna say anything. Okay. Hit play. No. He was like, he, he was kind of like just admitted that if he, he's gonna make, make make me pregnant, he's just gonna like raise a baby with me. And he yeah, he, he, so he, he didn't first, like right? say that, but all the this this he's actually proof that doesn't mind isn't the same as saying he really wants to have a child. Why would you get verbal confirmation if he really wanted a child with you? No, because uh, <laughs> I was pretty sure that he was so serious about me. But then why do, why does she need verbal confirmation that a man wants a child who's repeatedly nothing inside? Do you know how retarded you sound even asking her yeah. that question? His behavior yeah. is yeah. showing that he wants a child. People who want children, they have unprotected sex, and the man nuts in the woman repeatedly until she gets pregnant. That's typically how people... So why does she need a verbal con confirmation when his behavior is showing her that, she wants, that he wants a child? He has to want a child. Yeah, what do you mean you don't want a child? Yeah. I mean, if he doesn't, like... Why, if you do not want a child, why would you do what you do to get someone pregnant? Because then it's completely on the other person if they want to carry it forward. If you don't want to have a child, you would prevent <laughs> you your part. You would stop your part. You wouldn't engage. Listen, Themis, that's 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 the same logic as my sister, as me saying that I need to give my sister a verbal confirmation that I want to drive, but I'm sitting in the driver's seat of the car driving the car. <laughs> Obviously, you want to drive. Clearly, you're driving the car. You want a kid if you're nothing in a woman. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I can't. Have a kid. Then he then I even asked her, right? Hey, well, why did you get verbal confirmation? No. So she never got confirmation at all. They want to have a kid. And again, remember, guys, because look, when you look at that phone call, right? As dumb as fresh is for having sex with this fucking dumb bimbo, right? We need context. So he's with her. Those are for a period of about 20 days. That's why I told y'all. Context matters. They had hung out for uh, cumulatively for approximately 20 days. He's vetting her throughout the process, right? But also stupidly having sex with him. Let's add that, right? Unprotected. He says, I don't want kids. She agrees. She does a pregnancy test on the 24th. It's negative. Cool, right? On the I don't care. You said you had proof that Fresh told this woman she he didn't want to have children. I, do I need to see this proof because unless... By the way, I don't actually care about this proof, but I do want to see it. Unless the proof is a vasectomy... Because you said it, there was no condom involved. So unless it's a vasectomy, I don't, I, I, I don't care. But I do want to see the proof. Clear. Okay. She knows I don't want kids. She doesn't want to have kids. Keep in mind also, guys, this girl's a bodybuilder. She doesn't want to ruin her body. And we know why she doesn't want to ruin her body besides bodybuilding. It's her moneymaker, if you guys don't remember earlier in the show when we showed. Correct? So obviously this girl's got plastic surgery. So she's a very vain person. All right? So in his head, he's thinking, okay, she don't want to have a kid. She want to ruin her body. I told her I don't want a kid. She agrees that. She did a pregnancy test. It's negative. So then a week later, she calls and says, oh, I'm pregnant. Right? Which we have the video right here. Let's play it real quick. Do we have it, Bills? Yeah, the call. So. Obviously, he's in shock. Like, what the hell? We, we, we're going to have kids. What's going on here? So she calls him and she records it. She records it prior to calling him, which, by the way, is a felony in the state of Florida. Congratulations. You committed another crime besides what you did in China, right? Getting fired from your job for embezzling. And also on top of that, um, you know, committing, committing acts of uh, potential solicitation here, which we have video proof of. You're committing crimes all over the place. And then you also committed a crime by recording this phone call. It's illegal to, to record a phone call in Florida. Let's roll the clip. So she calls him. You literally said she was in New York. Shut up. That girl, ain't nobody got time for that. This is what I'm saying. It's not given FBI is given janitor. That's what it's yeah. given to me. There, there's nothing about him that seems FBI-ish. <laughs> because why mean. would the FBI recruit this man? Because don't they, don't the FBI employ people based off of like observing what a person can do and their track record, their success record, and then therefore like selecting them? Because I, 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 I from what I know, you can't just go apply to work at the FBI. They have to like select you. I don't know. I might be wrong, but that's what I heard, that they have to select you. Why would no, they select this dumbass dude? <laughs> I just, he, he literally in the opening said, after they broke up, she went to New York. Like, I, 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 right after, and showed a picture of her on the flight to New York. Girl, you just lost the case that you had um, around felony. A week after giving fresh a pregnancy, a, a negative pregnancy test, she calls him a week and says this dumb shit. I want a baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you by doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing it. Okay. I want to give the baby. Probing, probing questions to get a okay. response. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. And she knew that. That's not news. Okay, so what you gonna do? 
and what you want to do to me. Well, see, guys, like the fact that she's like, oh, who, who does that? Who calls, right? Like, and this is what I'm trying to say when I said we got to question everything, right? She calls him, recording the phone call, to asking probing questions to try to get an emotional response to make him look crazy. After they had agreed that they were not going to have kids, and you guys saw even in her own interview, she never got confirmation from her friends that she wanted kids. He told her we're not going to have kids. She agreed to not having kids. She admitted that in the interview as well, right? But then she calls him saying, I'm pregnant. And on top of that, she had done a pregnancy test a week before. No, be, you, Les Front, you're not about to sit up here and think we forgot that you said you have proof that Coconut did not want to have children, and she agreed. You said he, Coconut and... Daisy agreed to not have children. You now need to provide that proof. You said you were going to prove that. But so what is his point when he says, like, well, what are you trying to say when you say uh, she? he said that he didn't want to have kids? Okay, so what are you implying? That she forced him to impregnate her? <laughs> like, are you saying that she took a, a condom that he was wearing and did the turkey basting insemination? Like, what do you what why do you keep telling us that he didn't have comfort she didn't have confirmation that he wanted a child why did he impregnate her then because unless she unless she was impregnated through nefarious means like raping him or in his sleep just getting up and jumping up and, up and down on his dick what is your point by telling us he didn't want kids his behavior said he, he did so it doesn't matter what came out of his mouth his behavior said, I want a child. The fact that he didn't stop himself from impregnating her and did everything that it takes to impregnate her says that he wanted a kid. So if a man tells me that out of his mouth, I don't want a kid, but then he's having raw sex with me and he ain't pulling out and he ain't doing nothing to deter pregnancy, I'm going to assume by your behavior that you don't want a kid. You do. And whatever you said, it's not going to register. What you're telling me is not going to register me to me. I want to know if you didn't want to have a child, why did you lay your dumb ass up without a condom and not inside me and impregnate me? Because I didn't impregnate I didn't impregnate you, you impregnated me. Why? Why would you do that if you don't want a kid? Yeah. So I I just saw the moderators deleting comments. And did he con get, and did he get confirmation from her that she wanted him to not inside of her? <laughs> did he get verbal confirmation from her? And did she did she sit up here and say, oh yes, repeatedly not inside me? It sounds like from what she was saying, she was asking him, why are you doing this? The, why don't you pull they, out? It kind of sounds like she didn't want him to not side her, but he kept doing it. Now, now they understand consent. <laughs> I can't with these men. 20 days, what did we learn in school? S say it with me. It only takes one to I riot. So let me ask you all a question. With the totality of the circumstances, with what we've shown that this woman is a liar, a manipulator, a thief, a criminal, a sex worker, okay? You think she's honestly telling the truth here with her being potentially pregnant? She's been doing a fucking press run the past week, going on every single podcast that we'll have her to talk about this, to bring up her brand and bring up her, her new Twitter that she just made and her, new, and her Instagram. She's been doing interviews all over the place. Who would do that if they were actually pregnant with someone's kid? She's been doing a social media blitz, okay? Then she has the gall to make a joke with these idiots and say, yeah, I'll leave the kid up or preach, Chen, whatever. Like what? Who does that? If you were actually pregnant, would you actually do this stuff? Right? Nope. The reality is this, guys. He don't want to be with her. He sent her home. She got angry about it. Waited a week. Someone probably got in her head while she was up there in New York. And she said, you know what? I, I, I'm done with this guy, but I'm going to burn down the whole building while I do it because I'm angry and I feel a certain way. So I'm going to let my emotions get the best of me. And I'm going to air out all this stuff because they're not going to know about my past in China. They're not going to know that I got fired from a job for a business. They're not going to know that I was running around selling myself to people on the internet. They're not going to know that I was a sugar baby and that I was doing all this other stuff. They're not going to know that I stole money. We do now, Jin Chen. We know who you really are. You're not credible at all. Because you did it. You thought that your past in China wouldn't get back to us, but it did. Because in your own foolish attempt to go viral with this, people came forward and told us who you really are. You thought you would escape China and your past back there, but it came back to haunt you. And it's coming back to haunt you now. And you're getting buried with the fucking truth. Because everything I showed is factual. We know who you really are. We know what you really do. We got video. We got documents. Everything. Okay, she's a bad person. What does that change? Outside of making your partner look dumber, we'll... <sighs> And so this is the case that they're going to present to a judge? Because if I was the judge, I would be like, get your stupid ass out of my courtroom. Get, get out of here now. You ain't going to bring this, this, like, don't bring nothing this dumb to me. Telling me you didn't want no kid and you done set up here and nothing. It's like this woman repeatedly, get your dumb ass out. I would be like, you lose and just by virtue of you being dumb, I don't need to see the rest of the case. Get your dumb ass out of here. I don't even need to see the child. You're still on child support. I don't care. <laughs> Like, what is this? Unless you, like, he made a claim that he was going to prove that Fresh didn't want kids and she knew this. She has not done that.
And he hasn't provided one receipt for anything. And, and this is the thing. If you can't convince us on YouTube of any of this, you ain't about to win no case in no court. Where is the evidence? Because you've seen your dumb ass up here talking when your attorney told you not to. So the least that you can do is provide evidence so that you don't look like you're defaming her character, which is what it looks like. It looks like he's defaming her character and attacking yeah. her because of what a, a, a man did to her. Yeah. Some of these chats. Uh, we got here, Zachary. Fucking mic drop, bro. Like, this chick is done. Like, like, you're not credible. You're not, Jen, I know you're watching this thing right and now. See, do you see how he keeps threatening her, saying she's done? Yeah. It's like, you're you know, threatening me, this woman online. Yeah, but like, even when you're like, you're not credible, I never thought this woman was credible. No, what, everyone... I don't know if any of this is true, but we saw this lady and we, all of us in our minds had all kinds of things because of what, who she decided to be with. Her deciding to, like, no one cares. Like, she could be the worst person in the world. I don't care. The fact is, he should have known. And the fact that he didn't know and got finessed is the problem. Now, unless you're saying she's not actually pregnant, that sounds interesting. She is pregnant, but it's not Fresh's child. That is interesting from like this battle perspective. You right, but they're not even denying that she's pregnant. They're not denying that she's pregnant. And they're not yeah. even denying that it's his child. They're just saying, oh, he didn't want a child. Listen, you might be, they might be able to pull this off with a dusty YouTube audience and they um, followers. But I, I don't see how, I just don't see well, how this not. would work in court. I don't see how this would work in court. See, crying again, Myron. Um, same with the channel, talking crap. I'm going to stop watching this and get my money up. Um, <laughs> like they don't, they, these people dragging them. There's someone said, And rightfully so, they're idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Myron is wearing a wig. <laughs> <laughs> no. I closed doors. Y'all could have handled this like adults, but you wanted to run to the internet and illegally record him. You committed another felony, by the way. Okay. And, and you best believe I'm calling immigration on you. 100%. You, sh you shouldn't even be here. You're in the United States committing crimes, and you committed crimes back in China as well. And we have proof of that. You are a fucking sex worker. You shouldn't even be here. You fucked up. You played yourself. You wanted the club. Now you're going to get the club. I'm going to make you famous. You thought that this was a fucking game. And that's irrefutable proof of everything I got. And I got more, too. I'm not showing it all for obvious reasons. But the truth is the truth, and it's come out. I just don't get why he doesn't see that this looks like two men bullying a woman because a man got her pregnant. And this is the thing that, that a lot of black people do. They think legally in terms of their opinion. They're not considering what if they go to court, what the, the judge and the jury, because civil cases they go to, to um, trial to. They're not considering who is going to be judging them in making the decisions. It's not going to be, it's not likely to be a bunch of black men with the same dusty logic as him. It's likely to be people outside of his community. And what uh, people outside of the community is going to see is two black men bullying an Asian woman that one of them impregnated. That's what that, it's going to look like. And defaming her character, no, 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 slut shaming her. That's not what it's going to look like. That's what it is. That is what it is. That is what they're going to see, and that's what it is. So you are 100% correct. This is bullying tactic. It is, and, and he keeps adding good. insult to injury by saying, oh, you're done, oh, she's done. It's, a, it's like, what do you mean? That, that can be interpreted as a threat to her physical well-being. You dumb ex-FBI agent idiot. Like how, I, This is why I'm saying I don't believe that he worked for any form of law enforcement. He's too stupid. The way he moves is too reckless. It's like, and your attorney just show, told you to shut up. But you still, you still over here publicly bullying this woman in front of a huge platform and you're slut shaming her. Yeah. I, for things she did before your partner decided to sleep with her without protection. <laughs> so like, uh, just dumb, dumb. Right. And that's the, the point, because regardless of what, what they say about her, he chose to be yeah. at least in a physical relationship with him. That was a choice that he made. 
So you don't get to turn around after you impregnate this woman and you couldn't successfully um, persuade her or coerce her into getting an abortion. And then you think you get to on a public platform, demean and degrade and bully her. And you think yeah. this is going to work out for you in court. Because <laughs> the emotional stress this would be putting me through if I were her. Like, girl, we going to go to court. I started to take my brother's credit, maybe coming uh, to an authorized user of 70 points in two months. Thanks, brethren. Um, and then we got here. Venom says, I'll be such a loser. What kind of man gets as invested? Another man's relationship gossiping like a female, like he is in the shaded room. Dude can't wait to be on Destiny stream to spill tea like a woman. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I mean, these guys ran to this girl to give her a platform, not knowing that she's a criminal. She's a criminal. Jack says, just got my dot physical and commercial learner's permit. Starting CDL school. They ran to go give her a platform. She's a criminal. Your partner ran to give her home, food, shelter, brought her to Barbados to meet her family. And if she's a criminal, like, I feel like I've been preaching the least of the issue. Like, your and partner... The, the thing... Go ahead. Oh, go, go ahead. I don't want to, I don't no, want to no, cut you please. off. No, please. Well, the thing is, I'm saying the thing is, based on what she's shown to the public and considering their lack of evidence to substantiate anything that they're claiming all it's going to look like is that he is a disgruntled black man who impregnated a woman and don't want to take accountability for it because she already has to prove that you took her out to go see her mom it's to see your family you were professing love for her you were in a relationship and fine with her until she got pregnant and refused to get an abort uh, an, an abortion so it's just going to look like you're doing this out of retaliation for the fact that this woman would not get an abortion. Add that to the fact that we already know black men are out here literally killing women because they won't get an abortion or they can't, which in Florida, she can't get an abortion in Florida. So you're literally trying to coerce her into doing something that legally she cannot do. That's number one. And number two, even if she could do it, you can't coerce somebody into getting an abortion and then sabotage them and publicly demean and degrade them because they won't. You, She already proved that you had a relationship with her. She yeah. already proved that. A lot of people would believe, based on what she what she showed, they had a relationship. He was fine up until she he learned that she was pregnant and would not get an abortion. And they're too stupid to look at what, what this is all going to look like. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, any of these two can do at this point to prove that they weren't in a relationship. They were in a relationship. Like, that is proven. Any reasonable person, and the reasonable person standard would be employed here, any reasonable person would conclude that they were in a relationship. So I'd... Right. Dragging and, her and, is only dragging him. And any reasonable person is going to conclude that he was fine and okay in expressing love for her up until he learned that she was pregnant and refused to get an abortion. Then you went on a public smear campaign of her? Yeah. Not a lick of foresight, not a lick of foresight, Finn. And a criminal got a visa to fly everywhere. Got it. Right? Not only, not, uh, oh my God, not only that, it's like, even if she doesn't have a child, y'all are missing the point. You, they are, there is, there is such an easy way out of all of this. I won't say it until all of this is done because I've said too much. There's an easy way. There's a very specific way that they could have addressed this. Very specific way. Cool. In a couple weeks, you guys in RP Thor really gave me the confidence to go all in. Are you all, uh, are you guys going to bring, uh, don't worry, we'll bring them in the future. Uh, Will says, is she a sex worker that reflects poorly on Fresh? Uh, makes him one an idiot for having unprotected sex worker. Yeah. I know, bro, I told you already at the top of the show, there's an idiot for that. You know, obviously this information came after the fact, right? We found out about this, um, right? After, uh, he already had been done. Oh, oh, you found out about it after. But aren't y'all supposed to be teaching men how to vet women? How are you going to find out uh, after? Y'all don't get a pass for talking about, oh, we found out about it after. If there were documents on her being a quote-unquote criminal and y'all didn't get it, sounds like it sucks to suck. Right. And then if it's, if a black woman is pregnant, they're going to say, oh, well, you picked that man. So why did he pick a sex worker to impregnate? Why did he pick her? He chose her. It yeah. doesn't matter if you demonize her. He chose her. Where is why are you not telling him that he should have vetted her? He should have chose better. He should have picked a better woman to have a, to impregnate. Why? Why did he do that? Yeah. 
these individuals who are now more, they are. <laughs> I agree with you, Sin. Choose better. Done with her and all this stuff kind of blew up. And we got the real deal. But, you know, he, uh, thankfully he, he got rid of her before then. Obviously not early enough. And he did fuck up. We, well, I'm not here to, you know, lie to y'all and say that he didn't fuck up. He did, bro. He did make a mistake here. But what I'm saying is we need to look at the character of this woman. Is she actually telling the truth about this pregnancy? It's questionable. Very questionable. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, and that's I mean, good. well, Go the good thing for him is, is that when women are actually pregnant, it shows in their physical body for the majority of them. You're not going to sit here and just fake a pregnancy and say, I'm pregnant. And then in a certain amount of months, I'm thinking at least five of them. Some people show more. Some people show sooner. But we'll know at least in five months that she's actually pregnant because she'll be showing it. You can visibly, visibly see whether she's pregnant or not. So you can sit here and doubt that she's pregnant. We'll find out soon. Yeah. And even if she's not pregnant, the whole point hopefully does not miss anyone in his chat. But this idiot, this person right here says, she's lying. Myron showed proof. We weren't watching the same stream. <laughs> and we, I have not seen Myron can't show you. proof that she's pregnant, that she's not. How? What proof did he provide? Unless he's her OBGYN and he's violating HIPAA, what proof did he provide that she's not pregnant? I hate idiots. Like I do. I actually have a strong disdain for people who are idiots. I really do too. I can't stand them. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, Don't you mind W Bills W Big Mo? That red caller who called a couple months and called out fresh for his chick is looking like a guy right now for being spot on about this girl. I don't recall that call, but that's fine. I mean, bro, yeah, I mean, hey, it is what it is. I told you already. Uh man, Myron the goat, appreciate that, Keem. Uh shout out to you, my friend. I appreciate that. Yo, they're sending super chats dragging. Just dragging. <laughs> <laughs> cope, you're coping, you're coping, you're coping. Doesn't it make it look bad if y'all didn't know this beforehand. Those were the super chats. <laughs> oh, period. I have faith in humanity that people are like dragging him. And then we got here, Venom goes, bro, she really a little sex worker. My 57 voice, this is a movie. Hey, man. Like I said before, I didn't, I didn't want to do this, but I had to. Like, this girl went on a press run and kept doing interview after interview after interview, line and line and line. Like, no, man, you're not credible, Jin Chen. You're not credible at all. And I hope you're watching this right now fucking crying because you've been exposed. Okay? Like, you, you need to go back to China is what you need to do. Because you you're can you here on a fucking visa. For some odd reason, you're still paying the $5,000 a month for rent in New York. I don't know how you can afford that when you're not supposed to be working. How are you making money? You should be working while you're here. Hmm. I mean, I think he thinks that he's exposing her, but you're not exposing her. You exposing the stupidity of your boy who was hey, sipping off on this woman that he should have vetted first. That it like you are just highlighting, you are only highlighting how dumb your friend is. That's all. If all of this about Daisy is true, it only highlights how dumb your friend is. And then it calls into question the integrity of the entire platform that is predicated on y'all telling men how to vet women. <laughs> Well, that's why they're doing these live streams against the advice of their attorney, because they already know the integrity of the platform is compromised. They're trying to prevent that from happening. And it's stupid because it's just going to backfire. Yeah. Someone was like, oh, she's a sex worker in the chat. OK, she's a sex worker. Whose problem is that? That is Fresh's problem. He now needs to go get tested. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if she's a tech sex worker or not. He is the one who decided to engage without protection. I don't understand. She's a thief, y'all say. Okay, what does that mean? None of this matters. None of this matters if she's pregnant with Fresh's child. And unless you have proof that she's not pregnant, none of this matters. So you're in this chat. I don't know why Fresh and Fit fans are over here either. Like, I, First of all, first of all, Fresh and Fit and I do not share subscribers. Let's draw that line. Ado, there is no one that I know over here that's just obviously stuck on stupid, in the words of Sinji. <laughs> There's no one that I know. So you should not be over here. You should be over there with your alpha male leaders who are teaching you how to vet, who can't vet themselves. You should be over there telling Fresh how good of a dad he's about to be, even though he don't want to be a dad, even though he's been having that kind of engagement with this person without protection, go over there and boost his ego. Don't come over here. Tell us anything about him. All we do over here about fresh and fit is laugh. 
That is all we do. Your dumb self over there super chatting, getting coaching from an idiot who couldn't even have a woman look at him if he's not paying is ridiculous. We don't want you over here. I am sorry. It sucks to suck. I know there is a bunch of channel who feels bad for incel. I am not one of those channel. I do not feel bad for you. I do not feel bad for a group of men who sit around laughing at women that they could not get, that they pay repeatedly to see on OnlyFans. Girl, we don't care. This is not the platform for you. You are useless to me right now because right now we're having an intellectual conversation about nothing and we don't want to have you in it. You are the nothing that we're talking about. I am so sorry. I literally have no time for you. I am only responding because it's content. I am sure there is a bunch. Kidology, there is a channel for you. There are people online who care deeply about a group of men and what is happening to them and the epidemic that is the lonely man epidemic and what y'all are doing to cope with this kind of loneliness. What you have done online suggests to me that the kind of investment in your emotional state would only backfire because you sit there in a basement looking at women that you will have no access to and you pay continuously just to see a picture of them both on their Instagram and on OnlyFans and you get this kind of excitement for a moment, this momentary adrenaline where you watch men like Fresh and Fit drag them for your viewing pleasure. Meanwhile, the same men telling y'all how to escape being trapped by these women are being trapped by these women. If you don't see the hypocrisy, you are moving too slow. The processing unit needs to be updated for you and I to have a conversation. It is not about to happen here. We don't care. So be there and be mad. Your boss over there is being used and dragged through the ringers because of his dumb decision. A very, very dumb decision that he continued to make repeatedly, continuously and repeatedly without protection. Y'all are the problem. And if you can't see that, I don't know what to tell you. Goodbye. She's about to own their business, period, as she should. <laughs> As you should come up in here. Oh, my run this proof. And when are they going to address the fact that they said they had to go to non-black women and foreign women because um, Western women have these problems? So why are you having it with a non-Western foreign woman? Why are you having what? these problems? Why are what? you complaining that this Asian woman trapped you into having a baby, which is the same thing that you say about black women? that they're going after you and having these babies that you're impregnating them with so that they can live off of child support that you only paying $40 a week when you do pay it. But it's like, why are you even having these problems? And why is it okay for him to literally be having a meltdown trying to expose a non-black woman and doing the same thing to her that they do to black women, but then they'll sit up and be like, oh, we, we got to go to foreign women. We got to get our passports because these black women, these Western women, she ain't black. She from China. You shouldn't be having these problems. Why are you having them? See, that's the thing. They're talking about they don't want Western women, but then forcing women who are not Western to go have abortion and do the things that they claim Western women are doing. Like, girl, get out of here. Ain't nobody got time for that. They just so disgusting. Like, you all are the problem. You like you are failing with every group of women. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I don't like that. And I don't like that nobody's pointing that out. That this is a man who's literally going on this crusade to defend, to defame, and a smear campaign against their preference. That they said was better than black women. That they said don't bring this drama. Who they said are more traditional and don't have children outside of wedlock. So we shouldn't even be seeing this, and they shouldn't escape the criticism from it. Because what it shows is that black men are going to have the same outcome no matter the race of the woman because they are the problem. Because exactly. they don't want to take accountability. They run around recklessly having sex, not taking no control over their procreation abilities at all or their reproductive abilities at all. They don't take any accountability. And it doesn't matter the race of the woman. And this is why I do my content the way that I do and point out that everybody's getting the same black man because this is not a black woman issue. 
And quite frankly, they do the exact same thing that they're doing to this Asian woman to black women. So who's really the problem? Who's really the problem? They told you that they're going to these women because they wouldn't have these problems. Now they're talking about bringing up a legal lawsuit against your preference. Yeah. Sex work and sugar baby are major criteria for fresh ideal women. <laughs> Like, I mean, in truth, that's probably the only way he could get... Let me leave this alone. Fake and funky to plan on at home. Ah, thank you, sports fan. Wait, was the live stream done? Is that why the, the stray people over here, girl? Yes, bro. Um, Bob goes, congrats, you saw, you told uh, S SW you love her to close another interview because everything you sell your fans is a lie. Everything about Amaru is an act because he is the most insecure person on the internet. Uh, both are clowns. Yell in the mic more, Cardi Yeah, you're here watching the show. What does that say about you then? <laughs> and you don't no, the super chats are calling them clowns. Like, oh, they're, they're people eating them up. Oh my God. And they deserve it. They like, they deserve it. And this is what I look at as karmic justice. Because they, and, and I'm happy it's happening. It's no better person than a foreign Asian woman. No better person than a foreign Asian woman. One of the women who is upheld to be the most traditional, submissive, and male pleasing. So, Miss so, Omit. You went out, Sim. For now? Yeah, I'm hearing you now. Oh, were you not able to hear me? Yeah, you cut out. <clears throat> oh, yeah, probably because um, I was starting the car. It was trying to connect to. Um... Hold on, because I think my YouTube is playing. Give me one second. All right, let me play this while you do. Donated. So I don't know what the, I mean, I don't know what's worse, bro. You stupid. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Rational says, compare speech when she's negotiating money as a prostitute to how she talks when she's talking to Alvin Preach. She talks like a woman versus a 10 year old girl. And it is what it is, man. Um, Ricky Sticky says, I ain't trusting okay, you. Okay. <laughs> So what I was saying is, I think that this is karmic justice. And quite frankly, I think an Asian woman, based on all the stereotypes they have about Asian women, is the perfect woman for this to happen with. Because they say these are the submissive, world's most submissive, male-pleasing women on the face of the earth. Very traditional, very feminine, fit, and friendly. But yet now you're taking her to court. Now she trapped you. Now she's the criminal. She's the scammer. She's the sex worker. What happened to all y'all stereotypes about why you go for Asian women? What happened to that? Because these people don't got principle. These people don't believe anything. Anything to throw a woman, a group of women in black women's face, they go and take. But now look, this is so public, and I absolutely love the fact that it's so public. Because even if she lying, girl, it means the stereotypes weren't true, and all of them know y'all are suckers to be licked. <laughs> I'm glad it's public, too, because I want black women to look at this as a lesson. Yes, it's funny that they're getting dragged. Yes, you can look at it as entertainment, but look at it as a lesson, too. Who's really the problem here? Because you can now remove yourself from the equation. This doesn't involve you. This involves a black man and an Asian woman, their preference, the ones they put on a pedestal, the ones they say is better than you. But look at the outcome. Look what happens once a man, once he's in a situation where some accountability and some responsibility applies. What do they do then? Do they keep them women on the same pedestal or do they tear them down the same way they tear you down? Someone, look here, that someone wrote in their comment, he, fresh, needs to marry the woman and be a father to his child. He basically ruined the woman for another man and made her baby mama. Why don't you hold players like this accountable for tarnishing women? <laughs> Girl, they're dragging them. They, the, the funny thing is they have... I'm so glad uh, they're getting dragged. I'm so glad they're getting dragged. Yeah, they, they are appealing to a very conservative... I mean, there's a lot of, like, incel degenerate people there, but also they've pulled in the religious conservatives into the audience for some reason because they too are degenerate sometimes, a lot, mostly. And so they're getting but dragged. But they have... They have the conservative community because they they promote conservative talking points and lifestyle, like traditional women, women who are covered up, women who are submissive to the man, women who don't have children out of wedlock. They the, What they promote does cater to conservative con, traditional Christians, actually. 
So I can believe that they would attract that crowd because of what they're saying, but they don't live by it. They're yeah. only saying it. They only say it to degrade and demean black women. And they're getting drag drag, and I love it. I haven't heard a good comment yet coming in. Dumped him and got with the nigga that tried to destroy it. <laughs> Talk about Vegeta. <laughs> yeah. Yo, man. It's over 9,000. Uh, let's see here. Macabell says, yo, Mark, always respect how you defend your homies, but please don't get sued for defamation by this dumb 304. She did do it too. Well, here's the thing about defamation, guys. If it's truth, you can't do nothing. The biggest defense to defamation is the truth. What you gonna do? Sue me for telling the truth? Y'all saw clear as day in 1080p. That's her negotiating with a guy for sex and payment. Yeah. Right, but how does her being a sex worker prove that she defamed your character, though? Because she can be no. a sex worker. Her being a sex worker doesn't do anything to him. Yeah, but even if, like, he showed a video, but in the video, it like there's I, it leans more toward sex work, but we don't know that for a fact. But I'm not even going to fight that battle. I just don't understand what this proves. Outside of your friend is an idiot. I don't understand what the basis of their lawsuit is going to be. Like, well, what is the basis of your lawsuit going to be? She, she lied to me and she, she didn't tell me that she was a sex worker and I impregnated her. Like, well, what, what is, what, what's your basis of your complaint? I think in, they were attempting to do criminal court and like have charges against her, but they can't because, well, it doesn't sound like she was in New um, Florida. It sounds like she was in New York when she recorded the call. So you're going to do a lawsuit against a woman, not because she's lying on you, not because she's making false claims, but essentially because she recorded a conversation between herself and what was at the time her boyfriend and then decided to publicize said conversation after said boyfriend impregnated her and then tried to coerce her into an abortion. Yep. That's yep. that's gonna be their claim. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We gonna we know how that's gonna turn out. Yeah, period. There is no there is no defamation, it's the truth. I have her employment documents that show that why she got fired. Y'all saw it. It's there in fucking Chinese and we translate it for y'all. Can't do nothing. Um, she should have thought about that before going into before making all these videos and trying to tarnish Fresh's name. She should have thought about all that. Uh, let's fucking go. Too bad this video for uh, Myron Su Sung is here and make some sure justice, sir. Bring down the hammer, my brother. The truth will prevail. W my W F N W Fresh. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, first thing I want to do is. Oh, so so he is claiming that she's trying to tarnish his name by doing what? Because you tarnish people's name, they, isn't the measure for defamation is that what the person is saying about the the person they're defaming? It has to be not true, right? Yeah. Doesn't it have to be lies? Yep. So what is she lying about? What what are they saying that she's lying about? Is she's lying that she was in a serious relationship with you? Is that, is that the lie? Is she lying about being pregnant? Is that the lie? Like, is she lying that you repeatedly nutted inside her? Well, where is the lies? Like, how is she tarnishing your reputation with lies? And you haven't even provided anything on YouTube to even prove that she's lying. <laughs> enough once she brought these you know anus and reach into it and uh i was like nah man nah and, and again like i said before they, see, they, they, they claim on their, on their youtube channel oh we stand for integrity we're unbiased blah 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 but they brought in this girl right that's a crook by the way to try to tarnish this man's reputation for clicks and views not knowing the full story she's a criminal y'all see it multiple crimes multiple felonies were committed by this girl and y'all saw it right here in 1080p and that's when they decided the platform to i have to go out. though um themis i have to jump off so i'll be in the comments yeah, I mean, I'm also almost done now because they're not saying anything. Like, he finished. Yeah, he's really not. He's not I saying mean, nothing. He ain't showing no proof or no evidence. All he's doing, from what I see, is, is tarnishing this woman's name. Yeah. And, like, I don't know why. Like, this is, like, kind of, like, I understand, like, in the court of public opinion, making her look bad, but you're not addressing anything. Like, this is kind of useless. So, yeah. Thank you, by the way, Sin, for coming up. I actually enjoyed it. No, no problem. Thank you for inviting me and let me come up. Yep. Bye. Bye. Let's see if anything else is said. Because it looked like, look, it looked like that was it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looks like that was the entirety of, like, his case that he just presented. Yeah, I mean, the, drop a one if he disproved what this woman said, and a two if... Girl, we don't, you did nothing. One, if he disproved, Daisy, two, if y'all don't, like, it didn't do anything. 
not a tech review, man. That's them trying to get clicks and make as much ad revenue as they can. And I'm not surprised that's what they've been doing. They made almost 40 videos on us, guys. These guys are obsessed with us, man. I haven't mentioned yep. them in forever, but they're making videos on us at least once a month. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. They're obsessed. Let's, uh, what else we got? We got uh, Miki, or who's up here? Miki. Miki says, listen here, Big Mo, and listen good. You're going to take my $5 chat today, my guy. Faithful supporter of this podcast, I really, truly, I thought today would be a money Monday. Nobody cares about innocent leech or peaches and cream. They're just attention whores looking for 15 seconds of clock. Facts, bro, that's, that's what they do. That's literally what they do. Uh, first, a Philip Caribbean, man, I believed you from the start. It was good, too good to be true. Whether you use boots, uh, contraceptive, or not, it seems non believable. Plus, she's been on IG last week trying to plead a case with a bad English accent, acting like. That comment is so dumb. Whether or not you use protection or. On... Whether or not you use protection, she couldn't be... Pre what? Y'all need to start educate. Y'all need to start educating these men about how pregnancy work. I feel like this should be the very next lesson y'all do. <laughs> Someone, let, let me read this. Let, let's read it again. Fresh, as a fellow Caribbean man, I believe you from the start. It was too good to be true. Whether you use boots... Or not, it just seemed unbelievable. What do you mean? It seemed unbelievable whether or not he used a protection. Like, what do you mean? That don't make sense. All right. Jackie Chan from my shower. SMH. Yeah. <laughs> Jason Todd goes, get Asia the fuck out of here, get China the fuck out of here, get Eggroll the fuck out of here, get Sushi the fuck out of here, get Walter the fuck out of here, get Jin Chen the fuck out of here. Jin yeah, I mean, Chen has been lying to everybody, right? She fooled everybody. I mean, hey, bro, even I believed it for a little bit. You're not about to sit there and ignore the part where he said, get Walter out of here. You're not about to sit there and ignore that the super chat says, um, where is it? Oh, they said Wanton. Get the fuck out of here. Get Walter the fuck out of here. Get Jin Chen the fuck out of here. Yeah, I mean, Marco, Marco. Jin Chen has been lying to everybody, right? She fooled everybody. I mean, hey, bro, even I believed it for a little bit um, that, uh, that she came from a good family, etc. Just so y'all know, her mom doesn't talk to her anymore. I wonder why. Yeah, her mom doesn't talk to her anymore. So probably because of this. It is what it is. But we got the truth now. You know, I've always said there's three things that always come to light that you can't hide. The sun, the moon, and the truth. It took us a little bit of, a bit of time, but we got the truth. And that's what it is, guys. Um, what else we got here? Sorry, I'm going to end it here because I think it is super important that when you're talking about this in this way, that, like, you do have proof. Like, the only truth that I care about is that she's not pregnant. If you can prove that she's not pregnant, then you need to sit there, eat your food until it comes out. To be dragging her publicly like this is wild. Like, to, to just be dragging her publicly like this is wild. It does feel, like Sin said, like they're just up here bullying her, which she started publicly talking about this because he withdrew support, because he um, decided that instead of, saying, okay, if you are pregnant, I will do my part. I should not have done this if I didn't want to have a child. And because now you're saying you're pregnant, um, I will come with you to the doctor if I need to, and I will do my part um, in being a father because I did what I needed to do. Like, I, I feel like, like you on the phone with someone who is upset Telling them, oh, just take a pill. <laughs> like, it feels like these men don't re like, it feels like they don't understand human nature at all. She wants an apartment. You told her no. You told her you are done, whatever. She leaves to go to New York. She calls you to tell you she's pregnant. Immediately, if you think this is a lie, if you think she's mad at you because you didn't want to get her the apartment, so she left and said, on to better things, and she calls you, she calls you and says, I am pregnant. If you don't believe her, if you do not believe her, you say, oh, I wasn't expecting a child. She's going to say, but you did this without protection. Your response to that is, you're correct. I should not have done that. Now we're in the situation because of the decisions we both made. How do you want me to be there for you? And based on what she says, you'll investigate. If she says, I don't want to have the child, you're like, oh, okay, cool. How can I help you with this? If she says, I want to have the child, you say, even if you don't, now you're stuck. You say, okay, 
I'll come with you to the doctor. How can I show up for you? And if she's like, oh, I don't want you at the doctor. I don't want this. I don't want that. Then you know something suspicious is happening. And then you will take it to stage two. Like the, the idea that you're on the phone, someone tell you you're pregnant, they're pregnant with your child and you're like, we're done. Take a pill. Goodbye. It's wild. That the human psychology doesn't like, even if she was just testing, you just pissed her off more. <laughs> you literally just pissed her off more. <laughs> so, like, you're gonna push her over the edge to drag you publicly. She's going to want to hit you back where it hurts. And that is dragging you publicly. So, like, I don't understand how these men are out here telling people about female, F-E-E-M-A-I-L nature, and, like, literally don't know anything about just general human nature. Like... There is so many ways you could have played this for it to be in your benefit. And even use this story as like a, an example of how someone tried to trick you or whatever. The biggest issue, by the way, the biggest L you would take and you have to take is the fact that you engage without protection. Well, that is the biggest L. That is the L L. Like you, you don't get around that L. However, you can get on the back and like there was a simple way to know if she was pregnant. It was just super simple. And because you got in your ego, you're like, oh, oh, just take a pill. I don't care. Uh, we're not together. You're going to raise this child by yourself. You think anyone want to hear that foolishness? Particularly if she was attempting to manipulate you to get back in a relationship with you. You doing that is just going to cause more problem. You don't know how people operate. You don't know psychology. You don't know how to engage with people. And the fact that you're up here pretending like you know anything is ridiculous to me. Listening to that conversation, I cringe so many times because it was like very obvious to me that she was trying to set you up. Like, let me, let me be very clear. I believe she was setting her, him up. But... I don't know if she's pregnant and it's not my job to speculate on her pregnancy because you engage in a way that could lead to her being pregnant. That sounds like a you problem. The fact that you're on there treating her and the way you're treating her and dismissing her the way that you're dismissing her feels so obvious that you don't know how anyone, not even just women, how human beings operate. I, I don't feel like you know that. So L for the entire podcast, L for Myron, L for Walter, y'all going to eat this L for a very long time. <laughs> in nine months, we might check in again. Uh, probably not. I might be going live tomorrow. I'm going live tomorrow. But I might actually be talking about this because I'm pretty sure Abba and Preach going to drag them for this useless video that he just made. The fact that you just made this useless... Like... The, this video has no utility at all outside of making her look like a bad person, which most people already assumed she was a bad person by virtue of her dating Coconut. Her dating Coconut for me is a big red flag about her, like, period. Like, she, her saying, oh, I was in love with Coconut, for me, is like, mm, girl, I see you. <laughs> girl, I the fact that she sat up there and said, I fell in love with Coconut. Girl, we didn't believe this woman. So you doing all of this is wild and nasty work. All right. That's that on that. Thank you all. Remember to like the video on your way out. Um, and I'll see you in the after show now. Because I'm going to talk about Avatar quickly. Um, I don't like, I don't like where, the way Abba and, not Abba and Preach, um, Fresh and Fit decided to handle this. It, it, it gives very low IQ, um, and they have too much money based on what they are saying and resources to not have at least hired 
a public relations team even for this very specific incident. Like, this should have been handled with care. This was a moment to rise up and shine and show what the podcast is made of, if it's made of anything. But I guess you did show what it's made of, which is nothing. <laughs> no integrity. Like, you literally sat up there and said, Two year, a year ago, if you listen to Fresh on the podcast, no one would know what he's talking about. So y'all started a podcast with a person who don't know how to talk. Okay, wow. So in truth, this is exactly what y'all deserve. I don't actually have a bunch of sympathy for y'all. Um, it is what it is. So that out of the way, conclusion done. Now on to, now on to Avatar. Don't watch Avatar. I'm kidding. The the live action adoption for Avatar: The Last Airbender on Netflix, beautifully shot, terrible acting, terrible plot line, messed up my show. In rewatching, um, that's one thing. That's very one thing. They said that they were going to make soccer less sexist, and I heard that, which is why I went to rewatch. And I realized all of the characters lost their charm because they lost their charm in the live action because they did not, Netflix didn't want to make them bad, right? They didn't want to have flaw. And the whole point is for them to develop over time as we watch. And I'm very annoyed because I thought soccer was sexist. And then he got women kept beating him up. And then he had to grow out of his sexism. And I just kind of, because I knew that in the back of my mind, I just kind of plug that into his character. But watching it with that in mind, that they said they were going to make him not sexist, I realized he's just this bland, useless character, and all of them are just flat and terrible. And I am annoyed that I got tricked on the first watch because I was just superimposing my knowledge of the anime onto the live action. And that sucked. Like, that like it is really really bad like even prince zuko remember how prince zuko was the evil like season one of avatar prince zuko was a terrible disgusting vile human being character right it was so he was he's supposed to be hated and it is because we hated him and over time watch and he's as he becomes kind of humanized and we get to figure out why it is that he is the way that he is and we get to like him that is what is important it feels like he would like we get a backstory immediately we know he's not a bad guy immediately we know he cares about people immediately i'm like girl this is so annoying i'm not even going to talk about the acting and what's her name is it katara I'm going to call her Kitara, because I think it's Kitara, because she's the most important, outside of the Avatar, character in the anime, and she's like a bad, but she's also soft, kind, and strong, and powerful, but she can be selfish, and very assertive, um, and all of that, and in the live action, she's just like this useless person that's just there. <laughs> She's just this useless person that's just there. We don't see her practice her water bending, and then randomly she was able to fight the master and beat up the master. Well, she lost, but like come close to winning a master water bender. I was like, girl, y'all suck. This is disgusting. Absolutely useless. I am mad that I wasted Katara. I. J I j how how do you mess up the most perfect anime that ever existed? I don't know how you do that. And I'm very annoyed. I am very annoyed. So that's my take on it. I was going to do a, a membership live where I went over it. But I remember saying, oh, I really like it. But the reason I liked it is because like I just kept the plot and everything from the cartoon and used it 
when I was watching the live action. But after I heard some idiot interviewing, talking about, oh, we're going to take the sexism out of soccer. I was like, why would you do that? It's not like the cartoon promotes sexism. The cartoon uses the sexism to highlight how idiotic he is because he sees women and girls as less than him. He would engage in a way to think that he's superior and every single time they would drag him nonstop to the point where he has to go, even the Kyoshi warriors, he had to go to them and beg them to teach him to fight because they were so much better than him. The whole point of his sexism was that he needed to overcome it to be a better person. What do you mean you're going to take out the sexism? Girl, I just hate this. Everything is so sanitized and easily consumable and there's no thought in it. And it, the, these shows treat us like we're idiots um, who needs to be spoken down to without any real meaning in them at all. And I'm very much disgusted by it. I'm actually really annoyed. Um, I'm annoyed that I got tricked to the first time. So yeah, anyway, have a wonderful night. Prince Zuka had by far one of the greatest character development stories to ever be brought to TV. I didn't even give the live action a chance. Yeah, they just completely erased that. There is nothing for him to build to. He came out, he captured the avatar, and immediately we hear this woe with me backstory. I am a lonely old woman. I blah, blah, blah. Girl, ain't nobody care about that. We need to see Prince Zuka be evil, doing evil things, dragging people, tearing them apart, trying to get to the avatar. And all we see is a demonic, evil child with one eye bruised. That's what we came for. And then over time, he becomes a good human person. That is what we want. And I think they might have thought they were not going to get a second season, so they had to put all of it in. Also, Aang ran away because he was afraid to be the Avatar in the cartoon. And that is the, the flaw. That is what is haunting him. He is mad at himself because he ran away, got caught in a storm, and then created this ice thing that he was preserved in for 100 years. He was, in fact, running away. This Ang in the live action is just like taking a flight. He's like, I am tired right now. I'm just going to go. And then he's coming back home. And that's when he, the storm hit. I'm like, so you're just going to take away the motive for like why he is mad at himself. You're just going to rip that away. It does not feel like the people who wrote the live action cared about the, the the cartoon oh yeah azula azula should not even be seen yet like we should azula is just this random girl who know how to fight Th that is wild i'm sorry i'm sorry i am so sorry azula is one of my favorite bad guys of all times mind you Azula is one of my favorite villain of all time. When I say that girl is psychotic, <laughs> when I say that girl has problems, <laughs> when, I, when I say Azula in the cartoon has problems, that woman has problems. She will kill anyone. She will fight anything. She will destroy. Like, And her form is perfection. She is that girl, right? If you fight her, you're going to lose. If you try to fight that evil, evil, evil person, you are going to lose. Because as bad as she is, she got the skills to back it up, right? She is terrible and terrifying and evil and manipulative and condescending and just like one of those people that you just know if you cross her enough, she will destroy you and your entire lineage, right? Savage does not come close to describing her, right? This is who she is. And then we find out why she is that way and how she tried to not be that way, but just life was lifing for her. So she's a terrible, 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 terrible person. And the only person she cares about and listens to is her dad. That is it. So watching her dad... In, in, in the live action, tell her to do something and her say no is wild. Giving her this like, oh, she's just this super sweet, soft person who's just trying to live up to the expectation of the Fire Nation and she's really trying. Wild. 
just wow, it removed all the villainy. For, oh, sorry, Fire Lord. <laughs> oh my God, the Fire Lord. This is this is bad. The fact that he kept popping up, having shows and like conversation. I'm like, wait, isn't this supposed to be the big bad of the entire series? Why do we see him so much? I have a problem with seeing him so much. Why? But they want us to con they want to convince us that the fire lord, who is one is the most powerful firebender to ever exist in this cartoon right now, outside of the Avatar, right? He is the master of firebending. Like he is powerful, like Aang needs to learn all four bending to fight him, right? This is the man with all the power. They want us to believe that Prince Zuko almost beat his dad in a fight. They, they want us to believe Prince Zuko. This little scrawny teenager almost beat the Fire Lord, who is the master of firebending. They want us to believe that Prince Zuko had mercy on his dad and could have beat his dad but decided not to do it. Wild, disgusting behavior. Nasty work. Absolutely disgusting, nasty work. Absolutely not. The whole TV, the whole series is trash. The live action is trash for that, and it should be dumb. I'm going to continue to not care and not watch, but like I am annoyed. I am annoyed. I spent so much time rewatching that for them to just play in my play in my face. Like you are going to have Ozai lose to Prince Zuko. Y'all go have Ozai lose to Prince Zuko. Because that's what happened. Prince Zuko just decided not to take the shot. Like, when? <laughs> but what I think I did like is that the settings were very well done. Like, the, the setting looked like they just ripped the cartoon and made, build it up. So they could do a live action. Girl, the Moon Princess was a whole mess. <laughs> the pro <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving. The Moon Princess was a whole mess. I am so sorry. I, I am so sorry. The anyway, I'm done. Prince had by far one of... Yeah, Waddles, like, yeah. Yes, agreed. I'm gonna go, because I, I just... I am so stressed by this, and I don't like the way Ang talks. Um, but the the person they made, I, like the cast was fine, didn't really care except Boomy. Girl, what they did to Boomy, I was like, ooh, <laughs> I was like, girl, what is this? And they made the Kiyoshi warrior like just uh, anyway. I'm done. I think I'm done. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you again later. No, season two, I don't know how they're going to do it because a lot of the things they did in season one just now, they were supposed to be build up for season two. Like, Ang hasn't done any other bending than ear bending. I don't know whose decision that was, but like, apparently he just gonna learn how to do it off screen. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody got time for this because I'm I'm tired. Bye.